So um, if we're ready, I guess, uh, I don't really have an intro for this, so roll that beautiful well, bean footage. Th think of something, I don't know, th think of something like whimsical, you know? We are Legends of Avantress. Welcome to the Feywild. We'll see you at the ticket booth. Or why don't we, we'll see you beyond the witchlight. We'll see you in the carnival. It's we'll see you with a plate lights, of funnel cake. Yeah. We'll see you if you're this tall or higher. Hello, Clay! It's time to play! <laughs> Once upon a witchlight hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan, her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken, something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither, from yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire, a ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close and each one sings, a song of child, owl, and bear, a song that calls the spirits there, a song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain. Its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame with mighty hooves and sturdy frame. No better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne. The prince then found a toy of bone. Lettered blocks stacked to the sky when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass, marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion, each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. Day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power. Once upon a witch light hour. I'm doing I do what I can. Anything to please the fans, you know? <laughs> I'll say anything this to please the fans. pretty good rabies impression. I'll succumb yeah. to oh, my rabies it, so. right now. You currently have it. Can you move that ranch dress? <laughs> <laughs> We're sponsored by Lighthouse Family Size, Homestyle Ranch. Perfect for your cold chicken wings. It's gonna be a good night tonight, y'all. It's gonna size? be a good night tonight. I can finish that all by gonna myself. Be good. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Just don't oh, get on good. the map. <clears throat> all right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is going to be a silent session. Oh, man. What if we actually just sat here for like four hours in total silence? That'd be uncomfortable. It would be uncomfortable. Last time on Once Upon a Witchlight, you found yourselves in significant amount of debt when Remy Guru decided to collect on what he believes he's owed for the, um, is it defection? Is that the word? Of Dereliction. one Creme La Crue. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it works. Of. It works. Yeah. 
This led your group to take drastic measures and you, for the first time, did something that you never thought you could. You went to the job board. <laughs> it was there that you found an old notice for one Madrick Rosloff, a warlock that was looking for help finding his warlock patron, an archfey named Zabilna. He was offering treasures untold. So you made your way through the swamps outside of Ogwe until you found his large pumpkin patch. Having conversations with him, you felt that he <laughs> might he might be true to his word. And if you were to make your way to the Witchlight Carnival, there could be a way into the Feywild, into her realm of Prismere, where you could attempt to find Zabilna and confirm that she was safe and unharmed. That's all he requests for you to have hundreds of years worth of adventuring um, monies and almost a dragon's court of magical mm -hmm. items, gold, and the like. With your tickets in hand, you made your way once again into the swamps outside of Ogwe, heading towards where Cremie believes the witch uh, the <clears throat> witch-like carnival to be. It was very clear after some travel that the veil between the Feywild and the Material Plane started to thin. This confirmed you were in the right direction. Some shenanigans ensued, but you were able to make your way towards the outskirts of the carnival, where the sounds of screaming pierced the jubilant, uh, the jubilant music of the carnival. You found a fae, who's a fairy, whose wings had been ripped from its body. Before her passing, she mumbled some ominous words to you about someone who had done this and that you should be afraid. Prismere was not safe. She returned to the earth from whence she came, and in a somber mood, all four of you made your way to the entrance of the carnival. It's difficult to look up at the carnival after what you've just witnessed. The sounds echo through the night sky, the sounds of a calliope. The beautiful musics <clears throat> help to soothe the pain in your soul. But looking at this place, the bright colors, the jubilance, it's hard to imagine stepping through these gates and feeling anything but sorrow. And yet you do. You step under the archway that leads towards the ticket booth. And I need you all to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Uh, uh, mm. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> 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 really starting off the night hot. It's a natural one. Oh. That's not hot at all, Krimi. <laughs> and remember last session I didn't roll above a 12. It's the dice. 17. I cursed them. You really did. Five. Seven, 17. 16. I will join you. I will join you in the 17. Ooh. All of you uh -huh. are immediately overcome with a sense of peace uh -huh. and calm. You remember the feeling of holding that poor fey being in your arms, and you know that that was a horrible situation to be in. But that sadness that was lingering on you and clinging to you feels like it has slipped away. And though this is something you remember that has happened to you, and you understand that it was traumatic and difficult, you don't feel that same sense of sadness any longer. So and instead, the shock phase. Yes. Does the curiosity about the mystery of what had happened also dissolve? You're still curious about what happened, and you, I would say, all make a mental note that that is definitely, those are things to keep in mind. Those are things to remember. They will be important. There is something going on in Prismere. Who is the person that did this to her? But the somberness about you has faded, and you feel neutral. You look up towards the carnival, and you've just entered into this thoroughfare. The ticket booth sits in front of you. You look around. The first stars of night twinkle above the apricot sunset. Giant dragonflies whir overhead, trailing streamers, and a low mist curls over the ground. Through a floral archway, you glimpse wondrous and vibrant creatures, elf stilt walkers, dancing fairies, and painted performers. Everywhere, there is laughter pixie dust, <coughs> bubbles, and the wistful tune of a whistling calliope. In front of you, you see a ticket booth. 
A silver statue of a dancing fairy is mounted on the roof of this ticket booth and surrounded by fluttering butterflies. The booth is decorated with an animated depiction of the night sky with shooting stars arcing across it. An elderly goblin perches perches behind the ticket counter, peering at you quizzically through a spyglass. He lowers the spyglass and calls out to you. I can't remember what voice I used. And I really want to do Shelf on. <laughs> I don't think he said anything. He never said anything. He, 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 he did. He did? He did? But I didn't even think we got <clears throat> to the carnival last time. Well, oh, it's me, Gricko. Hello, fellow oh, goblin. It's me, Gricko. That's no, my show. name is Gricko. <laughs> Identity theft is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> did you take it? <laughs> this is real DMing, folks. Or you forget what voice you were going to do for your NPC within the first 10 minutes of the session. Perhaps you never left the carnival, and this is the real original Gricko, and you were cloned and sent out into the world. <laughs> oh! You're at peace, you're at peace. We're all feeling very neutral. Hello there. I met a sailor and he said, he said drowning was agony. Hello. Are you talking about scurvy Dave? Oh, scurvy Dave. He said drowning was agony. How would he be able to say that? He would, he would have drowned. It doesn't make any other sort of paradox. I mean, that's a good point. I mean, you believe in anything you hear? Well, you can drown and get resuscitated. Drowning doesn't imply that you have to die. Well, Scurvy Dave also <laughs> spent all of his time lying to you. <sighs> his brain was probably... He wasn't thinking right. He was... The brain was rotted from the scurvy. Mm, yes. Very sad. But I, for some reason, don't feel that <laughs> sadness at this time. Oh, yeah. So what I will say is the effect that you're under nullified your emotions. You're not under a perpetual... You, you can feel happiness and joy, etc. It was just, it whatever might have been plaguing your mind before you stepped in, it put you in a neutral state. Tell my wife I said hello. <laughs> <laughs> You're not married. Oh, frosty, yeah, I mean, they I have even... uh, the old meal right. Oh. <laughs> Would you care to join me in a game of uh, Area 51? <laughs> Where you can shoot the red barrels are special. You get, you get power-ups from those. Oh, I was going to go to the Jurassic Park. It's like a jeep. Oh, does it move up and down and side to side and roll? Oh, no, it's not that fancy oh, one. It's like shit. the low-budget one. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I'll still enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> it's Frost and Gringo on their first date. <laughs> At the boardwalk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you want to get one of those stupid t-shirts that says something beachy on it? I'm with stupid. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I, I'm walking by the French fry. Oh gosh, I have a peanut allergy. I didn't know. <laughs> 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 I brought my EpiPen, you're fine. <laughs> Can we play some fucking okay, games? Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah. haven't made it to the fucking booth. <laughs> God. What a new friend! Hello there. Greetings, fair goers. You have your tickets on you? Of course we do, of my course good we man! Do. Absolutely, I have one right here. Sure do. This Ooh. is the ticket you meet. Passing my way, passing my way. We're what gonna have a good time here. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. No, oh, hold on, hold on, one mm-hmm. second. One second. Alright. Uh, Alright. No, Everything you know, one, two, three. Uh, hold on, oh, just give me a second. I, I I do have a ticket, I swear, I swear. No, I mean, yeah, no, we just saw it, right? No, we just saw yeah, no, no, right, you on. got um uh, Mr. Uh, Rosloff uh, gave you a ticket. I'll show you put it in your breast pocket. Yeah, so reach out. Off and I start like reaching around. Man, man, I put that you ticket. put it in your breast pocket. No, your other breast pocket. Oh, I'm checking every pocket. Uh, wait. Okay, did I give it to you for safekeeping? Oh, maybe. Was it this one? <laughs> I'm not sure this is an in-game joke or an out-of-game. I think you have one in. <laughs> no. Yeah, you were back, all right? Well, yeah, try and slip it to him. See what no, 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 no. <coughs> Chris, oh, look at oh, that oh, 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 yeah, you get it. <coughs> mm. Yeah, here we go. Krim, do not do, 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 do me here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to oh, say? Oh, children eat free, right? No. Oh. <clears throat> Who'd see? <clears throat> we. Do we need to buy two tickets? 
What's going to happen if I try to Are you asking about a, a ticket for your owlbear? Yeah, for children. That's an owlbear, son. Excuse me, she's my daughter, and she's a lovely little girl, and she is going to be the, the, uh, the princess of the, uh, what was it? The, the, the Witchlight Carnival. It's been eight the years. Monarch. The Monarch something. The Witchlight Monarch. You think your owlbear is going to be the Witchlight Monarch? No, I Could don't. she do tricks? Yes. Oh, well, she's got a pretty good chance of being the witch lab monarch. Oh, how do you hear that? I'm going to win you so many prizes. Well, Come lucky up. for you, a child ticket is only three silver pieces. Peter man. Can we have one second? Oh, yeah, we're going to talk. I lost the room. What's going to happen if I try to pass this off as mine? Am I gonna, is my head going to like turn into a, a bouquet of roses or something? Yeah, I imagine he may have magically inspected the ticket, and uh, if he recognizes that it's a duplicate and that you're trying to cheat him, he might try to magic you to death. Okay. Oh, don't so, do that. So Give that me that mean, back just in case he bouquets my head. He's, so A, A, first of all, A, A, do you remember what happened in the swamp? I turned to pure gold. Oh, yeah. And, that like just happened. And, and, yeah, and, Gideon, and Gideon broke my jaw. Oh. Hey. Seven. Seven. Very logical. So seven what? It's A and then seven of oh, all. Seven of all. C, seven. yeah, seven of all. Seven of all. Um, uh, uh, so there is, they know everything that happens here. The carnival can tell what your mood is and what the mood of the whole carnival is. The carnival can tell if you wear a pair of very charming butterfly wings and if you take it off, it's none too good. I don't know what happens. I had to wear them even while I was working a, a really uh, low-level carny job, okay? You saying we all have to wear butterfly wings? Yes. Don't you want to be a monarch? Wait, you're saying we have to play a butterfly wing? Yeah, I'm saying that. I mean, it's Aren't you excited? Look how cute you just gonna be in butterfly wings. What if it clashes with my suit? So, A, seven, monkey paw. <laughs> All right, look, I gave the ticket back, and I can't find mine. We can just buy them, right? All right, all right. I, I'm so, so you go get Hootsie a, 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 ch a child's ticket. How much money do we have left? Uh, don't we'll steal those same two gold pieces. I hope that <laughs> tickets are inexpensive. <laughs> Monkey paw. All right, friend. Uh, we need two tickets, one adult, one child, please. That'll be three gold, two, si three, three gold, three silver pieces. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I turned the. Huh. Oh shit. Put one gold short. We don't have enough money to buy you a ticket. Wait, didn't Mr. Rosslaw give us some stuff, or did he just order this magic cloth? Oh, it all looked like a displacement. He didn't give us an advance on the riches <sighs> besides the cloak and the bean. What if we traded trade him a bean for? Oh! Oh, one of my beans. I mean, they're just like worthless beans, right? I mean, I imagine they have some sort of power. Uh, they, I haven't had time to really inspect them. Uh, amazingly, they survived their encounter with the swamp water. Those are some magic beans. I'm guessing they're magical beans. Oh, oh do you think they're beans that would grow pumpkins? Perhaps. Uh, giant I mean, pumpkins. The, the giant pumpkins. Perhaps they're giant pumpkin seeds. Well, we're gonna have to give him something he'll want. So maybe the beans. Wait, do we really magical. not have enough money? And you watch as other people walk by and pay and enter into the carnival. <clears throat> Perhaps one of these other uh, people walking into the uh, ticket booth area would be willing to uh, uh, be a little philanthropic. What do you think? Well, even if they're not willing, maybe they'd be a little unwilling. Wait, right. then if they're unwilling, then we're not going to get the gold. <laughs> well, ho hold on. Let's let me let me let me just try something. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well. Um, friend, you know, I've looked everywhere, I've, every nook and cranny, and unfortunately, we only have two gold pieces. Would you, would you maybe haggle a little bit and two tickets for two gold pieces, <coughs> one each, one gold each? I'm sorry, friend, I can't go down on the ticket cost, but if you can't pay the price, you can make a pact. Ooh. It's only good for one night. Oh, just a one night kind of pact. All right, well, what's, what's the pact? Well... We'll let the magics of the fae decide that. 
But if you agree, I will tell you, those that make a ticket pack do have a better chance of becoming the witch light monarch. Sounds like a bum deal to me. Who'd you make a pact? Oh, by the way, I've never worked here in my whole life. Not that once. Shut That's up. great for you, friend. I don't recognize you at all. I don't recognize you, and you don't. You don't recognize this guy. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> really, I mean, as a goblin, it'd be very offensive for me to say that I do. Just because I've seen one goblin, I haven't seen them all. <clears throat> Does your owlbear agree to make a pact? Well, what are the terms? That your owlbear will agree to make a pact. The okay. magics of the carnival itself will determine what that pact will be, and as long as your owlbear fulfills that pact, she will have a better chance of becoming a witch like monarch, and you won't. She will not be ejected from the carnival. She will be considered a paid attendee. Hoochie, I want this to be your choice. So therefore, I'm giving fee up to the dungeon master. I know it. You... Now she's yours. Fiat is yours. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of power, Nikki. I know. But I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> I don't, don't want it. I don't want it. I never do. She's my queen. <laughs> Why is it always John Snow? I don't want it. She's my queen. <laughs> Who's she? <laughs> I know that you a lot too. Uh, I know that you are. This is where we first met, and I know there's a lot of mixed feelings because you weren't. Fe- your tummy was not feeling very well. But Papa came and uh, wished you away. It's been eight years. We've grown. You're you're a lot healthier, uh, um, uh, and maybe we can um, uh, say hello to Miss Kitty Whiskers if she's still here. Uh, and would you like to make an unbreakable Fey pack for the day so you can be the monarch of the uh, Fey Wild? I mean, the uh, the Witchlock Carnival. And I think she will look up enthusiastically and uh, kind of like. Uh, what am I imagining with the bear claps? Is that from like a Harvey Birdman attorney at law? <laughs> <laughs> and he's also always doing the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think Hootsie will just do. Okay, Fey Pact. Uh, uh, I would like you to roll a d8 for me, please. Uh, miss, this is Miss uh, Hootsie T. Cutie Grimgrin. All right, and he reaches down and he shakes her paw. Please roll a d8 for me. Five. Good roll. Hootsie must carry around a small pumpkin as though it were a precious egg. Hoochie, we just had all this practice with pumpkin, and this is a small pumpkin. <laughs> we just had a big pumpkin pot, and no problem. No problem. Effortless. Hoochie, do not lose that pumpkin. We are and, going and to you will see this. that as the pact is formed, a very small pumpkin does appear oh. at the ground in front of her feet. Oh. The, um... The goblin behind the ticket booth takes out a, um, two satchels and a map and hands one to you and one to Hootsie. Uh, In that satchel, you look through it and you see that there is a map of the carnival and there's also a pair of, um, for each of you, cloth butterfly wings. Oh, butterfly wings. Okay, you can have the pretty pink ones, Hootsie. Did I also receive the satchel? You do, and so do you, Gideon. Nice. Nice. All right, so that just leaves me. Uh, And you, you sure you won't take two gold pieces? I wish I could, but I can't. Rules are rules. All right. I mean, can you give me any kind of hint about like what the nature of the Fey Pact is? I think I just did. A charming pumpkin. Well, I mean, is it going to be the same? It really all depends on how the magics of the Fey Wild twists around you. Oh fuck. Well, can you at least promise me, swear on your your mother or whoever else you hold dear, that it will be done after the night? I can swear to you, it's one night only. The moment the witch light monarch is crowned, whatever pact you make fades into non-existence. Eight hours. <clears throat> right, this is the beginning of the carnival, right? My, uh, you are within the first hour, fire. but time is ticking. So I've if heard, you want I've your, heard. I wouldn't know because I didn't work here before. It's on the signs outside. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want, if you want your, uh, your enterprises, you want to make your way in within the next 15 minutes or so. All right, all right. Okay, uh... I, we cram the crew, uh, do solemnly... Make a pact make with you. A, make a pact with, with you or whoever Rhymes else. Rhymes are really great. 
Wait, what? Well, you you could have rhymed that. That would have been really great. Well, that's not really my specialty. Me and Creme La Crew will make a pact with you. That's a rhyme. All right, well, am I, so am I making the pact with you? Like, like you're making Mr. the pact with the carnival line, the ticket keeper. All right, well, what to do? The name is Creme La Crew, and I'm making a pact with you. <laughs> <laughs> you see that he smiles. You're Please nice. move the um, enjoyment token up by one towards happiness. Oh, oh shit. Oh. 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 We're going to over here, the happiness token. Tracker, which is we're using pumpkin. little pumpkin. Little pumpkin. Oh, nice! It's up by one. Let's go. Oh. Wow! And you immediately feel it's it's almost palpable the way the energy in the carnival shifts as joy is is escalated, and you see the smile on this wizened old goblin's face as Cremmy makes this rhyme. He reaches his hand out to shake your hand. I and in. in doing so, he passes you a ticket. <sighs> Someone right. asked why Kremi doesn't have a ticket. Before we go further, let me explain. Oh boy. I handed out the tickets last session, and I told everyone, I need you to keep the location of your ticket. Make sure you do not lose this. You'll need this next session. I cannot hold on to them for you. It is your responsibility. It is imperative that you know where your ticket is. We sit down and everyone except for Rich had their ticket. And so Rich is paying the price of not having his ticket. Rich went for a hike. He had his ticket on him. He didn't have any toilet paper. <laughs> Ew! Look. Nothing would stick to this. He regretted this it. This is vinyl. <laughs> oh man, it was paper just smear. Yeah, and he would get a paper cut. He's also actively bleeding. Yeah, he's kind of sharp. <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, that would he not used be it more pleasant. like a scoop. You know? Ew! Stop! Uh, Please stop! Like turn like shovel. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can Don't curve bend it. it. I worked really hard on these. Well, <clears throat> look, I'm just saying. I think maybe Rico took mine. Took your what? Took my ticket. I mean, I had a ticket. Oh, you, you all saw it. You think he took your ticket and maybe gave it to Hootsie? Well, no, I mean, he had Hootsie make a horrible fate pact unless he's that I need dumb. you roll a d8, please. Oh, fuck. Perhaps now, speaking he... speaking of, mm. what what do you think happens if uh, Hootsie shadows that pumpkin now that you're accepted a pact? Well, you think you... it's like you just get kicked out or you get turned inside out? Well, I mean, he, wouldn't really, he wasn't really giving any details. Uh, I rolled an eight, by the way. You must declare your love for unicorns at every opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love unicorn. Wait, oh shit. <laughs> oh, oh Krimi, do no. you? I really do. I've never told anyone that before. <laughs> oh, oh that's kind of cute. Oh. I didn't know that about you, Krimi. I mean, uh, you know, I guess it's, I didn't really know that about myself either, but I, I really like unicorns. I wonder they got nice, uh, colorful manes. I mean, I don't just like them. I really, I, I love unicorns. Oh, you like collect <laughs> them and have them all over your wall and stuff? Well, I mean, I'm, you know, they aren't. The I never saw a unicorn in your office at the uh, the corner the uh, the carnival La crew. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, maybe this is some sort of like latent childhood memory that's just flooding back all of a sudden, or maybe it's horrible, you know, Feywild magic. I don't know. He reaches out and he hands you a satchel that contains a map of the carnival and cloth butterfly wings. You know what? I'm all of a sudden kind of looking forward to put these on. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hanhanska, for the twist! Hey, yes, oh, thank you! Oh, that's another thank one. You. It's so nice! <clears throat> ah. uh, well, uh, I gotta say, how do I look, lads? You look more beautiful, bright blue and red butterfly wings. Does look pretty nice on you. Oh, thank you. And look how cute she is with the little pumpkin and the pink butterfly wings. Oh. What color are my wings? What color do you want them to be? They are, uh, uh, you can see that they're uh, jade in color, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, but they're, they have the eyes, uh, circles of yellow in the center. Oh. oh. Like a to ward off predators. Exactly right. These are quite fitting. Thank you. You're very welcome. Oh, and look, they even got the purple ones. Do I have to match my suit? Oh, it really does match. Look. I mean, I prefer if they gave us like unicorn horns to wear. You know, wouldn't that be? Oh, cool? you could fund them. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, I mean, they sell it. Of course, of man. course. It's a witch log carnival. You don't mean they're not gonna have unicorn horns. They're probably like little shadow horns. And I'm actually know. pretty excited about that. 
Uh, I would like mine, if possible, to be uh, orange edged oh, uh, yeah. and red in the center and uh, comically too small for my body. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and mine is like way too big. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what do you guys think? How do these look on me? Uh, oh, pretty I'll, striking, right? I mean, it looks pretty good. I, I, I think that crying child. I think you accidentally took. He, uh, I think you took his bag. There's no crying in the carnival. That's the step one. He can't come in here. Oh, oh he says, he's not using them. Probably. He said his favorite colors is orange and 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 red. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, he's got Oh, well, those are some really big wings they gave him. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Fifteen minutes from now, after the kid stops crying, he goes up and he's like, Yes, I'd like to make a pact. <laughs> <laughs> My hands turn into what? <laughs> and with that, you all have your tickets. You have your satchels and your map as you look out over the carnival proper. It is a a wondrous spectacle. The the shifting clouds almost look like floating cotton candy as the sun slowly sets beyond the horizon. Mm -hmm. Uh, You see the bubbles floating through through the sky. They are catching the light and look um, iridescent as uh, as they glide through this place. And you see people everywhere enjoying their time laughing smiling moving from one from one place to the next and as you look down at your map and look back up at the carnival you see that it is an exact representation of what you're seeing here the carnival is yours to explore and yours to enjoy Mm. are the bubbles only like up up in the air or are there street level bubbles street level bubbles they're floating everywhere and i will say as you turn and you look towards the right you see and it's reflected on your map a spot called bubble pop teapot that has a large um teapot at the very top of this um of this attraction and from the spout are just gigantic bubbles that are billowing up out of it and as you look and it's it's quite a bit of ways off but you see that there are people in the bubbles you see that the bubbles are carrying them over the uh, over the carnival, almost as if to give them a tour. Oh, and they're man. in these bubbles, just watching in awe. You can see children pressing their hands up against the bubbles as they smile and laugh, looking down at the people walking through the thoroughfare and pointing out things in the in the distance that you can't see from this vantage point. I keep an eye on them for a little while, just to make sure none of them are like. <laughs> none of them pop, and they're they're no. They... <laughs> <laughs> Why they spit some over the ground? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then it turns into a horror show. Yeah. Splatter zones on the map. I wonder what that is. Oh god, no. it's your screw eyes carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Is that from a land of four times? No, it's from We're Back. Help me! Oh, that's a thing that looks by John Goodman! Yeah. Help me! <laughs> thank you, Goldfinch, for the thank reason. You for the reason. Oh, thank you, Goldfinch. Thank you. Um, well, there seems to be quite a bit to do here. What uh, what uh, does everyone fancy? It's uh, <laughs> perhaps their first choice. I mean, what are the options? Well, there's a, uh, uh, a ride called Lost Property, it would seem. Uh, there's oh, that's where I saw Hoopsie. Oh, really? Uh, when there's a uh, and Draco, you would know that that's not a ride. That's it's just not, uh, that's lost. That's just lost and found. <laughs> that's from Miss Kitty Whiskers. Is. Well, I I don't want to make any assumptions. Uh, this is a place of the Fey Wild, and if it's just lost property, then we probably shouldn't go there first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! There's a carousel. Look. Look, <laughs> you think they have unicorns there? Oh, I bet there is. <laughs> Lucy, would you like to see a unicorn too with Uncle Clemmy? She pro- nods very enthusiastically. I like this idea. What we can do is we can go right and then sort of uh, uh, circle around in a uh, counterclockwise direction. What do you think? Logical, yes? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, whatever. Well, I really want to go to the Dragonfly Ride. That's my favorite. That's uh, that's uh, right, uh, adjacent, right I'll across, right across any, the, the the fairway here. I'll go on any ride there is, and, but if we can get something to eat along the way, that would be great. Well, it smells like fatal cake around here. <laughs> fatal, fatal <laughs> cake. <laughs> what? Like funnel cake, but in the fae. 
Oh. Nee, Fijn oké. Fijn oké. Oh, Fijno, oh, dat F is zo important. Dat <laughs> F uh, is zo so important. Ja. Yeah. I thought you knew this place. Oh, it I smells like Fijno cake in the air. I did, but I was, I was just a carny that just like worked. I, I worked by the staff area. I, uh, I staffed the staff area. And they didn't let you have any. Yeah, no, I had to, uh, you know, lift those heavy jugs of water and put them on the thing, and that's all I got to do. I got to walk, I got to go to the lake and refill it and <clears throat> walk back and forth, and that's all I did, really. Ugh. I'm a little thirsty. I don't uh, know if I want to try this uh, fainal cake, but uh, <laughs> I could definitely go for some heavy jugs if we find a place where we could uh, enjoy a brew, uh, some sort of beverage. I can go for oh, some yeah. heavy jugs as well. I could, yeah. I could go for a nice brewski. Get with, like a, with the lads, and we can crack open all the cars we're at a carnival. Exactly right. Yes, let's, My let's, things are finally I'm, looking up. It's luck I am not covered in the blood of a horribly mutilated fairy. No, look, you're good. Look oh, at that. oh, okay. You look, look, we all look amazing. Look at oh. that. Well, I think we all need a beer, lads. A it's cold at one. this point that you, you look forward and you see... A 12-foot-tall walking tree garlanded in golden ribbons as it marches down the thoroughfare. Emerald clouds swirl above the tree and rain down golden spinning sycamore seeds. Fairgoers try to catch the seeds before they hit the ground. As the seeds gently fall, a chatty squirrel scampers along the boughs of the tree, handing dandelions to select passerby. Catch the seeds and get your prize. Catch the seeds and get your prize. I'm red and I'm in the tree. I'm red. Come get dandelions for me. I'm red. And he watches it dances about and waves dandelions. And you see that people are rushing up to the tree and red is looking around and selectively giving out dandelions, um, but noticing the people that dive and attempt to grab the, the sycamore seeds. All right, uh, gentlemen, I'll be right back. I'm going to go acquire myself a seed. And oh. I'm going to use my uh, 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 tabaxi ability to, like, hop. I can't remember what it's actually called because I'm looking at the map right now. Uh, it's called tabaxi hop. Tabaxi. I, t- I tabaxi hop. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to attempt to get directly between the people and slide in. And see if I can Sam. Get I have roll a dexterity, uh, a dexterity check at advantage because of your tabaxi ability. I oh, love well, come on, guys. We can catch seeds, too. Wait, are you trying baby. to compete with Hootsie? Am I able to do that thing with parents where I just compete and I give everything to Hootsie just so I can, we don't have to do the complicated, I'm just, if, if I, you want to. If you want me to roll for Hootsie, I can. You but don't I need, feel like I would, would say would any easier. of the things you don't need to roll for Hootsie, Hootsie, I'll just say Hootsie succeeds at the things Hootsie wants to. She just won't get prizes because that it's more meaningful, important for you to have these things. Yeah, and Hootsie. so I want to get prizes and if I can like, give them to Hootsie, like, that's what I would do. And like, it, it will be like a you. Like, you know, oh, we're just a day. It's yeah. a father and daughter combo. I get a. Get the fuck out of my way, Frosty! Just, just Dex? <laughs> yeah. I Dex dart Dex. forward and uh, uh, with tremendous speed, uh, 16. You are easily able to catch a sycamore seed. You watch as red, this little squirrel starts clapping its hands together, realizing that um, that uh, he is smashing these dandelions together and the tufts are flying off this way and that. No. As he reaches down and hat. Uh, he scurries down the tree and hands you a dandelion. Oh, thank you, Red. Appreciate that. Congratulations! I got a seed and a dandelion. That was amazing! I love tabaxi hop. I love you. Oh! I love unicorns! And I, really <laughs> love <it. laughs> I, I love you seed. too! And unicorns! <laughs> oh, thank you. I was just overtaken by victory. <laughs> uh, My child is gonna win! Uh, we're all uh, we're all diving yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, the rest of you make a dexterity check, please. Ooh. Finally! Let's go. Just a straight dex? Yep. Nine. Seven. Twenty-three. Oh! <laughs> All right. Death row. Um, <laughs> Gricko, you, Gricko, you are small and you're easily able to, um, to weave your way through the adults that are crowded around here, hoping, hoping for their chance at the welcome gift. You remember this and you know that by catching these seeds, you will, you will get a coveted welcome gift. Um, <clears throat> And so you find an opening, you dive in, and you are able to catch one before it hits the ground. Oh. Kremi, 
you do the same thing. You watch Gricko. You see the way he moves, and you you dive in. You you grab one, and as you look up, you see Red is right there on your shoulder. I love unicorns too. And yeah. hands you a dandelion. Oh, thank you, friend. Do I get to keep the seed too? Yes. You should blow the dandelion and make a wish. Do it. Do it. True. I hope so. That's what it's for. All Red right. knows best. Blow the dandelion. Red knows best. Blow the dandelion. Make Red knows best. Make a wish. Blow the dandelion. Make a wish. Blow the dandelion. You too cat. Blow the dandelion. You too cat. Blow the dandelion. You too cat. Blow the dandelion. Make a wish. I already did. You too cat. Oh, oh, oh. Blow the dandelion. Frosty's got to blow the dandelion. You too cat. And Frosty's gonna blow on it. Right now. And he's gonna make a wish. Probably something cool. Oh, Yay! yeah. Hey, Frosty! Uh, Red yeah. claps his hands and you can move the happiness meter up one more mark. Woo! That's amazing! You are the best people that's been here all day! Oh, it really sucks that you slipped when you were singing and didn't catch a seed, though. Oh, I always get caught up in singing, and I just <laughs> I lose my hands, and I, I can't find seeds are so small. But I, I appreciate that you clapped and sang the song with us, even though you didn't get a seed, and now you're all left out and get no prize. Well, I like to just bask in the And you fell success. on your face and got beaten by all those children. Oh. Oh, well, to be fair, I was trying to steal their seeds from them, so I probably deserved you it. You probably a did. Oh. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. Well, and you watch as Red runs up. I don't know why uh, his seed. voice changed to Sylvie, but it did. Um, and he runs <laughs> up the boughs of the tree, and you watch as this 12 foot tall uh, walking tree just continues to march through the ter- the thoroughfare, tossing sycamore seeds as Red chooses someone, multiple people in the crowd that do things that um, interest interest him as he gives them their dandelion. I need the both of you to write down what you wished for oh. and hand that to me. I, I also obvious. need you, all three of you, to roll a d8 for me and tell me what number you got. I'm going to get some index cards. Oh, grab me one as well. Yeah. We all roll a D8? Hmm? Yes. Except for Not Gideon. Me, yeah. Oh. Two. You know, you could have twisted. You've got a lot of Oh, them. damn it. Oh, shit. I, I say that. I will still let you do it if you want We're gonna to. We're going to twist. I'm going to twist because I want to fucking wish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, take well, the, the, the wish had nothing to do with your roll. Oh, oh give me that the wish had The wish had to do with Red picking people based on the things they did. Frost oh. did his kitty hop and Kremi yelled out that he loves unicorns. Oh. Well, I didn't know. Oh, sorry. I, so I don't need to re-roll. No, you don't need to re-roll. I got to see. Oh, 21. So you will also get a seed and you can roll a D8. Ah, step aside, kids. <laughs> Caught a seed. We all got seeds. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Thank you, chat, for letting me play. Chat. You pass that to me. Mademoiselle. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, I know what it is. Yeah. I know what it is. <laughs> did, he, did he wish for a unicorn? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did he wish for a fucking unicorn? I know it was a deal! It was not gonna come through! <laughs> they know it! They know it! Yeah, but you didn't have to confirm it. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, now I'm not gonna get my unicorn. I'm gonna get my unicorn. I'm gonna get Oh, oh that's God. so good. That's so good. It just fucking says good. a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to put this back to the pirate one? Oh, perfect. We'll just, we can, yeah. Or is it, just, yeah, all in we can, we can sort them out later. <sighs> oh, my God, that's so funny. Give me back Thank, you, Rich. Yeah. Thank you, Rich, for that. Um, and please roll your D8 so let me know what you got. Oh, a D8. Five. Oh, I got to roll okay. D8 too? Yep. Oh, do we have to do a bunch of ticket for that? No. Oh, okay. wasn't a, two. It wasn't a ride. No, so timed oh, events. Oh, it's only rides. Oh. It's, yeah, it's for rides and other mini events. The three timed events, which are the welcome gifts, the big topic extravaganza, and the crowning of the Witchlight Monarch. You do not. You just Is, come on. Are the satchel the welcome three. gifts? No, these uh, are the welcome gifts. Oh. Uh, one. Okay. 
Is the seed the welcome gift? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, the seed gives you your welcome gift. It is not what you think it is. So we got one, five, seven, seven, two, two. Wow, and two. Good, everybody. How yeah. about yours is a four? Mine? Yeah. Oh, I got a so four. So that way we can experience all four of them. Yeah, I got. Yeah, we got a four. Creamy. Uh, the creature gains the following personality trait until dawn. <laughs> you are current. You you are easily amused. Any conflicting character trait is suppressed in the meantime. Oh man. <laughs> You know, dandelions look pretty even once you sort of blow on them. Isn't that nice? It's Greco. Just a, it's just a green stick. <laughs> just it's a, a nice green stick, though. Oh, man, I Greco. Yes. You gain a die, a d4, which you can add to one ability check that you make before the next dawn. Oh, wow. Oh, do you dance? I feel stronger. Who got the seven? Do I look taller? Uh, your seed turns into a gold piece. Wow, that's how did that happen? <laughs> that is so exhausting. Crash, you come on. I, I thought, I, I, yeah, I've been trying to teach you how to juggle for how long? And your seed was in your paw, and it turned into a gold coin, and you just, ah! You know, I, I'm still, I'm happy. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like this The piece. rich! I got a gold piece. Oh, we could've bought that cool. ticket now. Oh my god, we have increased our gold by 50%. That's good math, Crummy. <laughs> That's pretty good. I mean, hold on to all three of those. Gold pieces. Oh. Three gold pieces. Isn't that interesting? Exactly right. <laughs> That's all we got. So don't lose it. Like, I lost my ticket. <laughs> or, like, Gricko stole my ticket. <laughs> I'll, put them, I'll put them in my pack. What if that little gremlin thing stole oh, your ticket? That invisible thing, yeah. Get you, you gain a d8, which you can add to one ability check oh, before oh, the next dawn. Oh, oh, wow! That's huge! Do I, uh, do I look a little taller? You look like you're covered in glitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Am I, is that just me? Must have been the kids. I mean, and you sort of look, you know, you look amusing to me. <laughs> you know, you're all big and strong, you got those tiny little wings on. What? Are my wings tiny? I thought they were appropriately sized. <laughs> if they were actually wings, you wouldn't be able to fly. You, they just flap around like this while you ran around in circles. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I think they look kind of fetching. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying they look bad. Just... They don't look like they were <laughs> taken from a child named Jason. Oh, well, good. <laughs> I think his name was Alexander. Did you yeah. actually steal, like, <laughs> accidentally steal the wings of somebody? Oh, I don't th- no. no. I, I was making a be, child. Yeah. If it is not going to screw him, then, yeah, yeah, I would, no, then that can be canon, just... but if so. Yeah. It's, it's, it's absolutely. What was the, what's the second one? What I will say is if you did, it needs to go down one happiness. No, I am. No, 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 no. no. Oh yeah, what are the rules? I mean, they're right, they're right here. There, there are three rules. They're, Those were important. also in your welcome pack. Oh well, we should probably t- just take a second and look at this welcome pack. Oh think? yeah, let's <laughs> look. All right, Gid, you can read, right? Have yeah. at it. You want me to read the rules out? I mean, if you want to, I mean, I'm happy to read. I bet Frost reads pretty good too. I yeah. am capable of reading. Yeah, Frosty, why don't, why don't you go ahead and read those? Uh, the three rules to oh, rule by. Oh, okay, just the showing three, off, I Three guess. rules three to rule rules, by. Hmm. The three uh, rules to rule by. To rule by. Rule of hospitality. When a friend, an enemy, or a stranger enters your home, you are expected to be gracious and accommodating to them until <laughs> such time as they prove by words or action undeserving of such hospitality. Uh, that, that seems to be the case here in this carnival circle. Yeah. It's all right. All right. Uh, Greg, don't wake up. <laughs> you need to listen to this. Well, what's the first rule? Uh, always say please and thank you. That's oh, close enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> the rule of ownership. You must not steal. You must not steal. Gideon, uh-huh. you must not steal. That's on the sheet. From a friend, an enemy, an enemy, or a stranger. 
what if they're neutral party? But then I uh, know between the it runs the gamut. It's a, it's a, the whole the whole circle of, of alignment would be included oh, in this. You should have shelved. Uh, no, I mean they, he's got a good point. Look, there, there, there's there's definitely a hold of just yeah. There's a bit there's a bit of a loophole here. <laughs> if you uh, if I know him, I feel like you're breaking the first that, rule already. What? Well, I don't have a home in the carnival. I nobody's coming into it. No, it clearly states you must not steal from a friend, an enemy, or a stranger. But let's say you know somebody, but they're not really a friend or an enemy, then then that counts. You go steal from some acquaintances, then. <laughs> we'll fucking find out. <laughs> <laughs> to take something that doesn't belong you with, to you without the rightful owner's permission is a crime and an unforgivable Ugh. breach of etiquette. It, it doesn't matter. It, it, to do it in general, regardless of... You, you think you found a loophole, but I, I don't... Th- uh, oh, Gringo, Gringo, uh, wait up, wait up, wait up. No, 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 form, Scooby Dave. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't thinking of Curvy Dave? <laughs> oh, Curvy Dave, Doobie Dummy Fit. <laughs> Gringo, what's the second rule of Dummy Fit? Oh, own your shit, that's a hint. Mm hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, if you no uh, no takes these backseats. That's close enough. (laughs) All right, the rule of reciprocity. When a friend, an enemy, or a stranger, again with the three, that's very interesting. Uh, When a friend, an enemy, or a stranger. Say again? They don't really care about acquaintances around here. No, no, but they do list three types of. The relationships. It's very curious. Oh, you know what? I bet it's like a Feywild thing that you can't be more than those three things. As soon as you know somebody, oh. they're either a friend or an enemy. That there is oh, no yeah. Control. And patterns are emerging. You are obliged to accept this gift and offer something of comparable value, be it a gift or a service, in return. Such reciprocation, reciprocation, reciprocation need not happen immediately. So there's perhaps a. a Greg, Greg, wake up, wake up. <laughs> where, where are you listening? I'm just sorry, you always used to read me bedtime stories on the road. As soon as you start reading, I would fall asleep instantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a bit of a Pavlovian response, I understand. However, <laughs> what is the third rule of reciprocity? Oh, uh, if you don't have the receipt, you can only exchange for store credit. <laughs> I'll accept it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all clear on the rules. <laughs> all right. I mean, there's only three of them. We should be all right, right, fellas? All right, that was easy. All right, so uh, be, be nice, don't steal, and if somebody does something nice for you, uh, see rule one. Exactly right. All we right. just got to reciprocate, right? No. For equal or lesser value. Equal or lesser value? Mm-hmm. No, Wait. equal, equal value. <laughs> no, no, what was lesser? I mean, it was equal or lesser value. If it's still no, com- comparable, oh. comparable. You, 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 no, that's not. <laughs> we'll go over them if we can find a beverage. I'm looking around. Yeah, I could really use a beer. Uh, yeah, bro, I'm yeah. gonna look around and see if I can find a, a cart or a, 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 a domic- not domicile, uh, some sort of a food f- food location, food hall. You look around and you see an <clears throat> elf on stilts pushing a cart down the thoroughfare. Uh, it's a very vibrant cart with a kaleidoscope of colors, uh, a rainbow cart. Uh, as it as it were, mm. and hanging from the tops, you see uh, the curtains that are pulled back from it. You see are tons of candies and snacks, as well as uh, the base portion of it is m- almost like a beautiful ice sculpture that doesn't seem to that doesn't seem to melt. And nestled within what appears to be a beautiful fairy castle sculpted out of the ice are beverages of all sorts kept cold. <laughs> Is there also a theme song to this rainbow cart where it's like? <laughs> it's like, pushed like by a tabaxi. Oh, terrific, terrific! That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, to hear. I said, I said, an elf on stilts. It's actually pushed by a tabaxi. Okay. Yeah, wearing a pop tart costume. <laughs> well, perhaps this tabaxi pop tart can help us. <laughs> what the hell is a pop tart? No, I believe it's a it's a breakfast toaster strudel pastry. <laughs> oh. Legally distinct. <laughs> Perhaps it's a regional difference. You say toaster strudel, I say pop tart. I've never heard that one. I'm gonna get Drake. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to go up and I'm going to ask what they have on offer. Uh, yeah, you make your way up, and the um, it's it's an elf on stilts. The elf on stilts. <laughs> like it's not a fucking <laughs> cat. It's not <laughs> Children love me. Why? Can I just DM a session? <laughs> you told them to enjoy the carnival. <laughs> We're enjoying the carnival, Nikki. <laughs> No, no, take his back seat. That's yeah, room number right two. Go right. oh, fucking in. <laughs> go back to the hospital. <laughs> just kidding. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Jesus. Greetings, friend. Uh, I've heard of Elf on a Shelf, but these stilts are quite tall. Yeah. Are you thirsty? Thanks. I'm parched, yes. I'd love to buy one of You're your beverages. You're a bard? Be- no, I'm parched. Oh. Birched. Oh, a tree bard would be interesting, don't you think? Tree bark? Oh. Oh, a dog bard. A dog bard? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You're thirsty? I would like to buy one of your beverages. What do you have on offer? We have giggle water. Giggle water? Um, we have a rainbow sorbet bubble drink. <laughs> Bubble drink. I'll have one of those, please. Thank oh, you. Oh, all right. Well, I do, by the way. I'm criminal the crew. I love unicorns. <laughs> oh, I do too. Did you want to have the unicorn sparkle in the horn? Wait, you have that? It's a bubbly effervescent drink with notes of bergamot. It's a drink? Absolutely, please. And you see that there are a few of them. They are a uh, a beautiful um, a, a beautiful unicorn horn that is filled with this uh, foaming, bubbly, um, pearlescent liquid, and that there are these tiny little um, like purple, pink, blue, green bubbles, almost like boba, that are floating in them. Ooh, I mean that looks lovely. Is that the, the ticket price? Is just, that includes that, right? Includes mm, drinks. Yes. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, these are these are free. I mm. thought perhaps that. I mean, given how beautiful it is, with like a collector's cup, and you have mean, unlimited refills. Exactly this is a, right. This is a way better. You can eat than the. Was. You can eat the horn. <laughs> you can eat the horn if you Wait, like the horn to. The horn's edible too. Mm-hmm. You just giving this stuff away. It's part of your ticket cost. All right. I mean, I was feeling pretty abandonable, but then get reminded how much how much we're being shown up right now. <laughs> Don't you find that amusing? <laughs> that is kind of amusing. <laughs> like for a second, I'm like, it starts to come back, and I'm like, uh, I don't know, you know what? At our drink station, we charge per ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so terribly sorry. I must have been dropped into the uh, the amusement of the game. What was number seven? What was my... I'm fucked. You got a gold what? coin. Yeah, you got a gold coin. coin. Yeah. It's, oh, I'm role-playing the gold coin. Here it is. <laughs> All right. All right. You know, even though your margins must be terrible, this is, I'm really going to enjoy this. I, I do hope so. Oh, it looks it very is, colorful. It is fizzy. Oh, absolutely! And uh, you you get one of the bu- you swallow one of the bubbles and you immediately float a couple of inches up off of the ground for oh, just ooh. a second, and then you land softly. <clears throat> Is that what that looks like? Very cool! Oh my god! <clears throat> hold on, hold on, hold on! I want to uh, eat, eat, eat another dip boba to see if it happens again. And you lift a couple of inches off the ground and then you slowly float back down. By the gods! Hold on! Get yeah. open your mouth! What? <laughs> and as you, it, it tastes refreshing, mm. almost kind of like a, almost oh. like a raspberry pineapple mix. Ooh, it's a good. little bit tart, but really sweet. A little um, tart? A little and sweet. you feel, you feel hydrated just mm. from that single boba as you lift uh, a couple of inches off the ground uh, and then the land softly. Frost said they wouldn't work, but here I go! <laughs> oh wow, man, I, I love the thing. Wow. <laughs> I just started guzzling it down. And you, do, you, do you notice catch, that you- you catch it? In a second. Oh, I'm sorry. You notice that you float, uh, you end up floating about um, two or three feet off of the ground for a little while. You're zooming around this way and that. Uh, you see that uh, bubbles begin to just kind of swirl around Kremi for a while. And then as he finishes the drink, he slowly begins to lift and the bubbles pop and go away. Oh, man. I mean, this Well, that was like very a, charming, Kremi. This tastes like it's worth at least 100 gold pieces. 
Um, so you have giggle water, you have the uh, the floaty drink. Mm -hmm. uh, are there additional options? Do you have any alcoholic beverages, for example? No, this is a carnival for children. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, there are parents here as well. <laughs> yes, but what we offer means that alcohol is unnecessary. I understand. Well, thank you for thinking of the children. Uh, my daughter here, her name is Hootsie, and she really would like a, if you have it, a, um, a certainly chapel. A what? A certainly chapel. No. You don't have any certainly. I'm sorry, Hootsie. We'll get you. We'll get you something else. What would you recommend for a sweet little owlbear who's going to be the princess of the carnival? A bowl of water. Oh, that doesn't sound very fun. <laughs> She's a child. She needs something very saccharine at the carnival. Perhaps the giggle water you mentioned earlier. That's a kind of water, isn't it not? Mm. It's probably as close to water as you're going to get. We'll have two. Okay. And she reaches down and she takes these two, um, <clears throat> they're wooden mugs. They're shaped like dryad, or they're shaped like a tree oh. um, with a, like a dryad attached to it. That's the handle. Her curvy body is kind of leaning over oh, into the tree oh, and you hold on to her. Um, <laughs> and it is a beautiful uh, green liquid, but it's, mm. um, it's more of a, um, like a minty green color. And it's sparkling little <coughs> glittery pops and fizzes here and you take one and you hand <coughs> one to um to Hootsie. Hootsie it's not red like your favorite beverage, but you know it'll Blood. Be what was it? Blood. Oh no, a certainly chapel is your favorite. That's what I've I never, it like. I've <laughs> never heard of it. <laughs> No, I thought that you were talking about blood too, actually. You needed a giggle blood, perhaps, and make it. Oh, it's every child's favorite beverage. A certainly chapel. A certainly chapel. Uh, hmm. It's just basically like water and sugar, and it's just bubbly. That's not what it is. Does it go? A little off? bit of cherry. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm. Or like, oh, it's more cherry. This must again, the regional differences. I'm still yeah, learning I'm so much from you, yeah, we, live, we, we were born across the world. Anyways, thank you so much. You're very kind. Hootsie, there you go. Uh, you drink, and as you attempt to say, Hootsie, there you go, <clears throat> all you're able to do is giggle. <laughs> <laughs> and Hootsie begins to <laughs> lap up her giggle water. <laughs> I need you. I need you to uh, tell us what Hootsie sounds like when she giggles. Hootsie, you laugh is so cute. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh no, isn't it? I mean, it's pretty cute. Kind of worried about him. <laughs> oh. One time, Gideon punched a guy so hard and he acted like that. <laughs> to a dime. <laughs> That's not I good. Mean, yeah, it wasn't funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't did we call that guy Chuckles? <laughs> I mean, it was kind of funny. And then he said, oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the time, we didn't know it was going to die. <laughs> well, that would have been insensitive. Yeah. But. <laughs> In hindsight, it was rather, uh, you know, tricky circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, second one. You probably shouldn't have made a massage so attraction. <laughs> as, as, the, as the clown who couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> uh, that was a good week. We made a lot of money. Uh, we really did. Uh, I didn't know he died, though. <laughs> He told him he went to a farm somewhere <laughs> far away. Yeah, I had gig taken to the pig like, farm. Uh, you know. oh, well, then he yeah. got married and had a bunch of kids and lived his life out on the farm. Wait, did you believe Grammy when he said it was a clown farm? <laughs> Every time people went to the farm from our carnival, they died? I mean, yeah. It well, happens. Yeah, the clowns, at least. 
<laughs> this carnival is so much better than our carnival. <laughs> I never said the clowns generally felt a drink. It wasn't getting a nerve. <laughs> It's not murder if it's accidental, all right? Oh, hey, can you man snort a wriggle of clowns? <laughs> I call it workplace accident. <laughs> you didn't know when we set it up as one night only. It was just one night only. The mansion was for multiple shows. This is so much better than our shitty carnival. <laughs> It tastes like the crust at the top of a um, <coughs> at the top of a creme brulee. Mm. Oh, oh man. wow! <laughs> How did you make this? Again, that margins must be terrible, but I don't even care right now. Uh, Ma'am, uh, is there perhaps a third <laughs> drink option? Well, you could always try the lavender lust. <laughs> in a lavender lust? Mm-hmm. So there are drinks for adults here. I, I will have one of the lavender lusts. Oh, all right. And she hands you a beautiful purple heart uh, that has a, <laughs> a spot for you to drink out of. And inside, you're, you're overcome with the scent of lavender. You can see petals of the flower swimming through this beautiful, glittery purple liquid. So what you're saying is it's a heart shape like this? Yes, and, and then on one... And thing right, right here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That is exactly what I'm saying. No, for you to get your tongue, a little tongue action, mm-hmm. Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Does it taste like purple? <laughs> And at this point, you feel your giggling <laughs> subside as you finish your drink. <laughs> what does this do? Is it just like, there's water inside? <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice lavender tea. It's just a nice herbal tea. Real temperature water. It's, uh, it's delicious. Mm. And you look over at Crummy? Yeah. Oh, Crummy is sexier than you've ever seen him before. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I love to laugh. Long and loud and clean. Grammy, perhaps we'll find something to eat. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I can use a bite. I mean. We, we did just have a drink. We should probably go on like one ride before we eat, right? I'd be willing to go on the carnival. Perhaps there's a two seater. <laughs> on the what? On the, uh, sorry, on the what? Hold on, hold on. It's hard to concentrate while you're doing the that. carousel. There's perhaps a, a one of those booth rides. Oh, yeah. We could go up and down. Yeah, that's the shittiest one. <laughs> well, I mean, on the carousel, I was hoping to ride the unicorn. I, I, I mean, maybe there's room mm-hmm. for two, but I mean, we both have tails is the thing, and I think it might be kind of awkward. You know what? I never understood. <laughs> I can sit behind you. <laughs> what? Why did they call them unicorns? <laughs> Why is that? When they're not made out of corn. <laughs> it's silly. <laughs> You know, that's a good point. Why do they call them Why unicorns? Why do they call it? There's no corn at all. In it. Have you ever seen a unicorn with corn or ever before? <laughs> or maybe because the, the you know, the, the, the horn on the head kind of looks like a cob of corn. <coughs> well, I've never been to a corn and corn alone day festival <laughs> and ever seen an old unicorn. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, oh, I think it's wearing off finally, so I can finally stop this. <laughs> oh, you a very cute laugh. Was there anything else I could get <sighs> from the cart before I make my way? Yeah, miss, I would love uh, a drink if I can. Oh, yeah. if, whatever, if you have a favorite drink on the menu, I'll take that. Oh, yes, I like the rainbow explosion. Oh, well, <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> we all know what that does. 
And you see that there is a beautiful, um, what looks like a ceramic mug that is a um, a white, glittery, and opalescent cloud with a rainbow shooting out of it. There's a straw that comes out of the top um, that has two butterfly wings on it. And it is filled with a beautiful multicolored liquid that it's it's almost what you would imagine a, an oil slick would look like, but with pure neon colors, um, the colors of the rainbow. And she motions for you to take it from one of the nooks in the iced castle that's keeping everything cool. Ooh, cool enough. <clears throat> I've always heard that uh, straws make you suck, but I, in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes very fruity. It's, um, what? Um, it is, uh, it's like, uh, apples and mm. pears, mm. basically any fruit that you could possibly imagine. Mm. And you all watch as Gideon, the red color of his, uh, of his, uh, Genasi vibe is now mm. changing colors as it shifts between mm. all of the colors of the rainbow. Mm. Mm. God. Yeah. Mm. The skin color? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll try this one. This is pretty good. It's like a fruit medley. Look at what's happening to your skin. What? Oh! Huh. You've gone heliotropic. What? what? Oh my gosh! What? How much time do I have? Uh, how much time does he have? Well, if it's anything like the zebra, it's the same color, about six seconds. Oh, God, well, it's been nice knowing you. Oh, gosh, well, well no, that might a just delicious be a, drink, a, so. an entertaining side effect of this oh. beverage. How do you feel? I feel quite good, refreshed. <laughs> Like I'm on a tropical island, not that I've ever been, but I imagine this would be there if I had. We've probably been close to some of those. Oh, Maybe well, not. Um, certainly not. Sail by. Yeah, never served a delicious drink like this while <laughs> while passing by. I tell you that, usually in the brig. <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but this, I mean, this is literal fucking magic. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is mm-hmm. nice. I, I wish I could have magic beverages every day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm. that's mm. what I should have wished for. <clears throat> Damn it. Oh, well. All right, we're going to the carousel. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Carousel. Come on, Hoochie. Oh, oh, your lap is so cute. Thank you for the beverages, miss. Thank You're you. welcome. Enjoy the rest of the carnival. Mm. Look into a certainly chapel. It's very good. Kids love it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, before so, we go to the carousels, perhaps they're a, uh, a restroom, I'm wondering. Would you like to take a break? I'm just curious. <laughs> you stop at the restroom before you make your way to the carousel. Let's take a five minute break. Oh, you gotta take a piss? I think it's down that way. Oh Let's no, go. it says ye old privy. Oh, and oh, it's basically a trough. Oh, and there's no sink, it's just a... A barrel of wipes. Oh, I tell you, I don't have to piss, but this unicorn explosion has earned its name. Oh, <laughs> Mace, I huh? need you to roll a d100. Oh. I forgot to have you roll on the fey table when you, when oh, you yeah. used the twist. And Grico too. They Grico both didn't used, have to, uh, remember? He didn't use the twist. Oh, that's he right. didn't actually use a twist. That's right. Oh. You used a twist to get one of the seeds. So oh. I need a d100 from you, please. This session's been so discombobulating. <laughs> I know. It's weird getting back. In. It's it's weird doing Feywild and then taking the look off and then doing Feywild again. Uh, so yeah, it's yeah. I think it's gonna take you know a, a couple of sessions to. Yeah, yeah. Thirty. So, oh, good number. I may have you make a roll because I still haven't. Real quick, Din says, "What does the smelly coins do?" <laughs> <laughs> These are our twists of fate coins. Every five hundred bits, we get a coin. To, it lets us re-roll a d twenty, and we have a lot of them, so we're. Uh, and we're excited about they're it. extremely powerful because we can use them after we've seen a roll. So we very frequently will get like a one on a, you know, dexterity dodge in Fireball Town, and uh, we can re-roll. And that happened one time. Um, Gideon, who was the last person you killed? It wasn't the last <laughs> like person It wasn't the clown, killed. was it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it might have been the clown from the carnival. You know what? It was it. the clown from the carnival. Okay. The yeah. voice of the last person you killed <laughs> tells you things about their life no one wants to know. You know I had <laughs> chlamydia. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Can I just be the clown? Yes, Mike can just be the clown. So just randomly throughout the session. <laughs> randomly throughout the session. Can you do a clown voice? <laughs> oh! Randomly throughout the session, please just say something, Gideon, you're the only person that can hear it. 
That's all. Oh Done. shit, we need I need to make a note to like leave that in the session because that's important. What? Fuck. What? Editor's note, leave that in the session. <laughs> hey Rich! <laughs> <laughs> I seriously need to clap her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Rich! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I hope that should be good enough. I'll I'll, I'll try to so um, you you have made your pit stop at the uh, at the restrooms. Uh, they um, it is shaped like uh, one of those puppet stands, and you walk in and um, you use the bathroom. Do you, does that mean that the urinal is actually an open window out to a crowd, and you have to fight the other <laughs> urinal users? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It just looks like it. Oh, Fuck! Okay. I didn't think okay. it through. I just thought it'd be cool. It is cool. Uh, I walk out. Man, that smells terrible. Don't you know that you have to put the seat down in order to trap the smell so that it can escape through the pipe? Most people don't ever understand that, but it's very true about all of these station wet. Um. You're actually using your hands to, to touch that? To touch the toilet seat? No, yeah. you, you can you can just give it a kick. Uh, I have these nice shoes on for hygienic reasons for a reason. <laughs> Cremmy. <laughs> I am refusing to <laughs> hear what's wrong. That, that, that was, was very, very logical. logical. <laughs> we'll put a pin in that for Evandris and chill. <laughs> I refused to put the toilet seat down because I was rebelling against my mother. Ah, who's that? Who's that? You, you guys hear that? You know immediately who that was. Oh, God. Curly the clown, the last man that you killed. Oh. Chuckle. Chuckles? Oh, Chuckles. We call him Chuckles when, when he punched him. Yeah. And that was really curly. Dude. You hey. never did get it right. <laughs> You well, guys just hear chuckles? I'm sorry? What? No, we, I, I heard giggling because uh, Gregor was enjoying his <laughs> no, free. Yeah. No, Chuckles the Clown. Did you just hear? Oh, the clown that you accidentally killed. Yeah. That you manslaughtered. Yeah, that we yeah, yeah, thank you. That he sent to the farm. That, let's yeah. say. that you took to the farm to have disposed of. Yeah. That's the one, yeah. Anyone just hear him? No. No. What did he say? Wait, oh my God. I said it doesn't put the toilet seat down. Oh, in the afterlife? Why? Did we all die? I don't know. I didn't want to know it, but he told me he doesn't put the toilet seat down. In reference to Frosty, talking about Please his... move the hour tracker up one. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to I show... There's an hour tracker right, here. Do it. Look at this. And we're using this little frog. <laughs> 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 it's been one hour. Check Grind Radio. <laughs> Uh, well, if this is the afterlife, I would like to enjoy all of the things it has to offer. Let's go to the carousel. Yeah. Um, Chuckles, please don't haunt us. I'm having a very lovely time, and Hootie needs to become the monarch. <laughs> don't forget about that time I gave you a Snickers. Hmm? You know, I always really preferred three musketeers. <laughs> ah. Did you hear him? Hmm? He says he prefers Three Musketeers. Probably haunting us because of you. Is that some sort of candy bar? I don't know, but clearly you didn't give it to him. What's a musket? What's a Snickers? <laughs> you don't remember we? Let's move, let's move on. <laughs> we're, we're, about to, we're about to tear this world apart. <laughs> you don't remember that time we went to Hershey Bar? <laughs> <laughs> they sell one pound chocolate bar. <laughs> Wait, we're walking and we're talking. Yeah, I, yeah. I told you I wasn't going to stop you. Uh, uh, we approach the, the carousel. Thank you for the Thank follow. Thank you, potato, potato chips. chips. Oh. Potato chips. <laughs> oh, okay, where is the name? This potato chips or take the potato chips and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Nani. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, so with that you you make your way through the through the witch like carnival. You um I'm going to look at my map to see where you're going. Fudge. Come on D&D Beyond. Thank you very much. Um, you pass uh the Calliope. The music is um is reverberating throughout the carnival and almost setting the tone of jubilance that you feel here. As you make your way forward past the stand where you got your drinks, you see uh down the thorough 
through a fair, making uh, making their way towards the uh, left side of the carnival, that gigantic uh, walking tree and red the squirrel as they are what ap- they seem to be wrapping up. The first hour of the carnival has passed. Welcome gifts are no longer being given out. As you make a quick right turn into into the area with the carousels, and you look towards it. A, prof- a procession of wooden unicorns stand motionless on a circular wooden platform. Fairgoers clamber onto the unicorn's back, and a female centaur sets the ride in motion. <clears throat> the unicorns shake their manes and creak to life, cantering around the carousel to the delight of their riders. You fail to see this? Kremi, it's like this was built for you. Every my wish, it came true! There are so many of them. You wished for unicorns? Well, I wish for one unicorn, but this is, I mean, every single one is a unicorn. You know what? I bet there were multiple animals before I made that wish. Well, you know, so you're telling me you wished for a unicorn and it came true, and you could have just wished to have our debt forgiven? Oh. Well, you know what, kid? At the time, I didn't think of it. To be fair, uh, I also did not think of that or wish for that. My great, <laughs> my greatest wish was to go into tag for Dermy. Oh! But my father always said I had to go into the family business of clowning. <laughs> Chuggles, I've never heard you talk so much. Well, all, everything I just don't care about. <laughs> Nobody cares that you got into wanted taxidermy all along. Well, Gideon's lost. <laughs> you were a mediocre clown at best. I accidentally killed you, and I'm starting to think that it wasn't an accident. Can he respond? I, well, he comments no, he on... Uh, he just randomly comments. He comments on things that are happening. I don't know if he can respond so far. All he said was that thing about musketeers and taxidermy. <laughs> Say, just, uh, can you like, ask him a question? Chuckles. Chuckles, do you like being dead? <laughs> I, I I know, no, oh, that's kind of grim, Gideon. Well, I, what was I supposed to ask you, him? You know Did what? he regret his Go life ahead and not move in the happy me- happiness meter down one? Oh. oh. You, you know, Gideon, I've done a lot of thinking about it, and I gotta tell you, it's to die for. <laughs> 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 Wait, did he respond? Yeah. Gideon, what's wrong with you? Well, I asked him, if he, you know, I've, now I forget what I asked him, but uh, he said it was to die for, which was a very funny punchline. Uh, yeah. So I laughed. Well, he uh, was a clown. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, tell, tell him to go away. Tell him to go away. Yeah. You've been working hey, on that, Gideon. <laughs> 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 I haven't been working on my frost <laughs> 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 That's really funny. Uh, I'm going I'm to get in line. Would you like to join me, Craig? Uh, I want to get in line. Oh, Lucy, come uh, on, let's go. Get in. I'm oh, definitely jumping on one of these. <laughs> I hope the ghost of uh, Chuckles is fun with us doing this. I hope, uh, that, I hope that we can ride more than just once. For, for I mean... It says here, Valor Fate Rides. What do you think of riding tails? I imagine we could ride this eight times if we wanted to. I hope the rides are plenty long, although I really want to get out now, so I hope they're done real quick. Hmm. What a conundrum. You, uh, you make your way towards the carousel, and you get in line. And it takes about ten minutes until you are at the front of the line. I would say three uh, rounds of carousels. Uh, of carousel rides happen while you're waiting and you see kids and adults getting off they're jubilant um everyone seems to be having a lot of fun and in this time you have uh uh roll a perception check me all of you oh there we go here we go das oh i just needed a session to warm up you know what i mean oh well, uh, perception? All of us, all of us perception? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> 20. 22. 13. Um, I'm going to use a twist of fate on this. Ooh! Oh! Oh, no. And I'd roll a d100. Yep, roll a d100 for me, please. <laughs> Worth it. Oh, uh, 18 frosty. perception. The cat's out of the bag! 
Oh, uh... 97. Wow. Wow. Good That's year. Pretty high. <laughs> pretty That's good a great year. year. <laughs> really, that was a real, very good year. It was a fine year. I was in Russia at the time. Wow. I didn't get tetanus. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> you glow with artificial light. Almost like Jesus. Who the fuck's Jesus? <laughs> I, mean, I think she means Weegis. <laughs> oh, Weegis. Foltus. Oh, Foltus. Yes. yes I am. Oh, my gosh. Like, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glowing the in the day. I'm glowing right. the night. I'm glowing the dark. I'm glowing the oh, glow. And you Turn notice that, down a little bit. You notice that as people <clears throat> walk by you, ooh, what's that? <gasps> Do you think that's one of the attractions? Oh, it's probably a pop up entertainer. And you start to have like a, a group of people oh, that are kind of like milling about. Come on, come on. Enjoy uh the glowing cat and the clown haunted Large men. Yeah. <laughs> Roll a performance <laughs> check to see if anyone gives a shit. Do this. <laughs> well, oh, performance. What was it? Oh, that'll be a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bunch of kids having just gotten off of the Karis wheel and really wanting to go again, but realizing the line is pretty long. Mm -hmm. um, they start to um, they start to crowd around you while you're standing in line. They sit down on the grass and they look up. Oh, what's gonna happen? Well, just you wait, little child. Frosty, come here. Oh. And throw you up in the air and then spread out and be like the sun. And there's a clown goes right behind oh, him. No. Oh, and a dancing owlbear. Oh, come on. <laughs> I take my hat off and I turn it upside down. Uh, tips of the hat, please. If you enjoyed it, please, a gold piece or two. We wouldn't mind at all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so tell me exactly what you're doing, and I'm going to have you roll performance checks. Gideon, I, you know I don't like it when you throw me, but uh, when, when in which light? <laughs> I, I put my arms out and like this so that you can get under my... Uh, I get right behind you and do the same motion you do. Yeah, throw throw me with the heavy listen. weight of the clown that haunts your past. Uh, <laughs> with, with the weight of a terrible uh, haunted ghost. Here you go! Uh, and as, as you reach up into the sky, I need you all to make a performance check. And Hootsies, I'm assuming, uh, dancing oh, she's there dancing. Sign. My past was haunted by crippling loneliness <laughs> and imposter syndrome. Uh, <laughs> ah, kids, don't listen to them. Don't listen to the horrible haunted ghost. <laughs> <sighs> Uh, I'm gonna use a twist on this. I'm Roll a, a D100. Well. Roll a D100. Natural twenty. Okay, oh, that baby. means nothing. I got a sixteen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mine was worse. Show me some eighty-two X. Eighty-two. 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 Uh, performance. That'll be a six. Uh, that's not that much better. Should I use another twist? I'll be a six. I don't want to. I don't want to stack. I don't want to fucking stack the matrix just yet. <laughs> There's a matrix. So I'm gonna do one below what you got because yeah. it, the, the what you got was you can no longer go outside unless it's pouring rain, and I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, we're to the outhouse. <laughs> Vines and leaves will now be intermingled with your hair and body hair. Oh, that's so many large vines and leaves. <laughs> that is a lot. Seventy-eight for Greco. Um, your uh, your irises are now pure black. Or your yeah, that's a nightmare. You just have <laughs> pure black eyes. Uh, Gideon throws me, and I am uh, like the sun, and I'm like the sail cat in the sky. And, and as I reach the peak, the apex of my flight, all of a sudden. I do this, I start to flail. It's one of those glowing chia pets! Ah! Frosty. No, no, don't flail so much. I won't be able to catch it. All of the kids stare up in in horror. They're like, they 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 start to say, um. Good morning! <laughs> 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 you see? That lot grows the vines! Oh. Roll with it, roll with it! Uh, can you roll a, uh, a deception check? I certainly can. Or persuasion. Oh. Would it be a persuasion? Yeah, persuasion check. You're trying to persuade them to chill out. 15. 
<clears throat> oh yeah, easily. You you say this and they're like, oh, oh, yeah, good morning! And all the kids start like clapping and cheering. Good morning. And Frost is being <laughs> Good morning. I'm like trying to minor illusion like like sparks and like pink glitter and explosions just to kind of like I'm juggling my totems <laughs> like while Hootsie's dancing. <laughs> I've already tuned in you log things. And uh, then and all the while I will say you collect about five gold pieces. Oh, oh. Good job, good job. appreciate yeah. it, appreciate it. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Now that you have an audience, these unicorns remind me of my OC pony dewdrop starshine. <laughs> and she was actually a princess from the Forgotten Kingdom. She had two different colored eyes, and she was actually the most powerful magic user that was the only one that could learn fourth healing. I mean, special magical <laughs> unicorn healing. <laughs> and she didn't have to work for it at all. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> and, and with, it's at this point that you hear what sounds like a horn echo just in this area. The... Um, the uh, centaur that was standing at the front of this line, you now realize that you're at the front of this line. As the centaur kind of crosses her arms and looks at you as you were putting on this con. Uh, from her hip, she pulls out this horn and blows it. Her voice booms out as she says, <clears throat> That's going to be it for now. Everyone, except these four, please leave the carousel. We are closing for maintenance. So sorry. You can consider this a free hole punch on the hour. And everyone looks down at their tickets and they see the hole punch that had been popped when they got on the carousel magically re reappears. And everyone cheers and is, 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 seems to be very excited. And should you come back to the carousel before the big top extravaganza, Diana Cloppington, that's me, will make sure that you ride for free. Now to the exit, please. Oh, Diana. Oh man, we missed out on a free ride. We missed out on the ride. I was excited to ride the unicorns. And yeah, she no moves more. She moves towards you. Not you four. You'll stay. We oh. have things oh, to do. Oh, Grim Grim. Yes, to the exit. Good job, dear. Oh, oh. you're so cute. Yes. And oh. she's, she's smiling and shaking hands like and slowly us? ushering the crowd towards the exit, oh. but keeping an eye on you and asking you to stay. Thank you, children. And you see that as she gets Take towards the, the entrance that you, came, that you came in, as she ushers the last of the patrons out, she takes a rope with a sign that says, um, undergoing maintenance, and she closes off the entrance and slowly clops towards you. Maybe, maybe we're getting like a <laughs> private ride? Why to do there, Miss Lady? My name is Creme LeCrew of the LeCrew Carnival, and this is my band of carnival performers. And we thought, you know what? There was another carnival in town. We like a good carnival, as you can tell. You seem a little nervous. A little bit. I really like unicorns. Oh. Like, like, like a lot. And that's a lot of them. Yes. I've never seen as many Can you blame them for how beautiful uh, I, you we're, are? We're, we're going to have to stop for a moment. Uh, You're, it's spiraling into multiple conversations. You don't need to be nervous. I'm not going to hurt you. <clears throat> All right. All right. I, I didn't assume that. I mean, you look very lovely. And, uh... What are you doing? No, I think you look lovelier than Kremlin thinks. <clears throat> oh, well, I, wait, what? I, I don't need your baseless flattery. Oh. I just simply want to talk. What are you doing here at the carnival? We, we're here to ride the, 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 the carousel. Or is it a merry-go-round? It's a carousel. All right, I always forget I the I understand why you're at the carousel ride. I'm asking why you're at the carnival. Why you've come to Witchlight. Oh, and I sort of like blink in realization that like we're here for a reason and I just totally <laughs> forgot. Oh, you're right, why we're here. Um. I need you to roll perception check. You and Gricko, since you're the ones that are immediately talking to her. Oh. oh. Okay. I want to twist it. I'm, yeah. twisting, I'm it. twisting it. Roll D100s yeah. for me, please. Yeah. Natural yeah. one. Uh, Frost, you you are, you do ah. land. Gideon catches you. You feel the wiggly, almost wormy feeling as the vines Ooh. are just writhing as they're growing out of his fur. Uh, you see flower petals uh, burst open all over his body. I'm not sure um, I enjoy this, Gideon. But he does feel like a mass of worms. 
I'm not sure either. You feel a little weird, but yeah. you smell a lot better. I'm really Jumanjiing out. <laughs> uh, I got a uh, 22 on the check and a 30, 36 okay. on my D100. Roll. And what did you get for your check and your D100? Perception mm-hmm. is a 9. Okay. With I rolled the a, a 2 and a 1. <laughs> Uh, oh, and I never got my effect. It was a 78 initially, and then a 71. Thank you for the follow up, you Thank Phoenix. you, no. Oh, no, your eyes turned black. Oh, that's right. Yeah, your eyes turned black. Start writing them down, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that was the mistake I made during Hypnotoad. You gain the beauty of the gods as long as you look upon yourself in a mirror at least once a day. If you do not, your beauty will corrupt into necrotic horror. You are the most beautiful goblin anyone has ever seen. Your skin is completely devoid of wrinkles. Oh. It's, you have eternal youth. Your hair is perfectly quaffed. It looks like... Um, it looks like it's f- as full as it could possibly be. The color is spectacular. Um, your eyes are piercing and your smile. It's its like looking at the goblin version of Gilderoy Lockhart. My hair has never been so blonde. <laughs> and it's true. It is blonde now. Oh. He was. Every time he smiles, his perfectly white teeth have that like little shiny pop of sparkle that happens in the, in the cartoons. I've never meant to centaur, but now that I have, all I want to do is schmentor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. I'll show you. <laughs> and it's as she's looking at Gricko, Kremi, that you see that even though she seems she seems happy and jubilant, <clears throat> she's not once seemed angry in the uh removal of the patrons that were here at this spot, you see that underlying all of this is an intense and almost crippling sadness that she's doing her very best to hide. Uh, so, so I ask you again, why are you here? Well, we're here, we're, we're looking for somebody. Are you all right? Not particularly, no. Well, do you mind me asking what's the matter? You look capable. What you've done here to be able to bewitch the minds of the patrons and get them to fall for that silly performance. Oh, silly performance. That was you, quite nice. You enjoyed it though, right? It was pretty good. Yes. I I was concerned for your friend here is covered in vines now and <laughs> screaming profusely at the top of his lungs. He's very glowing. Is there something you can do about the swamp thing effect that's happening to me at this time? It's not in my power to fix it. Is it just going to keep growing? I'm not sure what you've done. Well, you've I... clearly done something to incur the ire of the magic of the Fae, if you're such as you are. Well, I, I'm, I, I was glowing for, for a time, and now and I'm still are. glowing through a viney patch, and it just seems to be getting longer and I bigger. really don't like the way that vine is lapping at your earlobe. No, and I feel that it's just going oh, to Oh, it's going in. To... Uh, it, it's go- oh, it's going in, yes. Ooh. Well, if we, if we comb it a little bit and kind of comb it out, we can hang little bobbles on you. And a little Crummy. star on top. What languages fun. do you know? Uh, I know common and draconic. Uh, roll a d4 <clears throat> and tell me what you get. Oh, One is common, two is draconic, three is common, four is draconic. Oh. Common. Uh, anytime someone speaks to you in common, it sounds like uh, screaming. God, <laughs> that wasn't going you wanted. Wait, I'm sorry, what? What part would you like me to repeat? Uh, well, I mean, you, you, the volume is just a little loud. I mean... Oh, I'm very sorry. I can I can speak much more quietly. I mean, you're I still think. screaming. I understand you're I'm upset. Not, I'm not screaming at you. I mean, you're, you're raising your voice. Oh, oh no. okay, no, 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 no I don't no. intend to. Now, do not listen to him. We are trying to help you. You seem to have a sadness to you, miss. And we are here to help. We, that is why we are at the Witchlight Carnival, to help our dearest patron, who's looking for his patron, which is our patron once removed by proxy. Hi. Zabuna. Oh, um... 
Yes, um, Sibyl. And she looks down and you see that she cringes as the tips of her fingers begin to sprout mushrooms. Are you all right, I, I, miss? I, I, I can't, I can't speak of that. Um, okay. You're really I, in distress, I understand. How can oh, we help? Um, she flails her fingers around and you slowly start to see that as she refrains from continuing down that line of thought, her, um, the mushrooms begin to meld back into her fingers. I'm not a centaur, a centaur, a centaur. I'm not the <clears throat> thing that you called me. Oh. I made a, f- a pact gone awry. That's what turned you into what you are now? Yes. What were you originally? A human. Oh, was your name originally Diana Cloppington? Because that would be very appropriate for your current form. <laughs> no, it was not. That it was a moniker I picked up when I was offered the position here by Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. Wait, are you saying that you're just a human and not a monstrosity type person? Yes, I'm just oh, a human. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if we help you, will you stop screaming? For the love of God, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but it's I'm just, not, it's hurt my ears. She's not screaming. She's screaming. not screaming. I'm not what screaming. Are you, why are you all saying? screaming? I mean, is everybody okay? Nobody's screaming. This is going to be hard to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> it's very unpleasant. <laughs> Nobody's screaming, Krabby. <laughs> what are you talking about, Krabby? All right, just stop it. Just stop She's it. She's not screaming. Nobody's screaming. <laughs> We're all talking in a normal voice. <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> I, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll reach into my coat and I'll pull out two handkerchiefs and I'll just, like, I will say, upon doing that, it still sounds like people are screaming, but it's not overbearing. You can have conversations. <laughs> All right. Well, more than that. <laughs> <laughs> He said calmly. <laughs> Look, oh my God. It's probably some fey magic while y'all scream and you don't realize it. That's fine. It, so, I mean, it sounds like you're on some kind of fey pact and you can't speak about what you were just about to say. That is true. I sought out someone in can I Prismere okay I oh, sought wait, out that's where we're going oh that's what I was hoping to hear I I will do my best to help you but you see I oh this is so difficult I I sought out someone in Prismere and I I made a deal well more I, I asked for their help to be reunited with my war horse, my best friend, Sir Cloppington. No. Mm. And well, she fulfilled her part of the deal. Oh, I see what you mean. So where's Sir Cloppington? Like out back? In a manner of speaking. Does that mean that there are oh, two no. pairs? There's a pair of female legs with the top half of a horse somewhere out there. I'm not sure. That would be most dark. I I would love to find some way to have this reversed, and unfortunately, part of the deal prevents me from giving a significant amount of information verbally. And I can't write it down. I know where you're going with this. I love a good game of charades. No. Oh. I and, work... and unicorns. Oh, yeah. I, well, of course I love when, unicorns. I told her that. When I left Shut Prismere, I, I came to the carnival here, you see. And I I began to work at the carousel. I was given the job by Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, which was very kind of them, of course. And I... They've left a riddle on the carousel in the hopes that someone clever, an adventurer, that's maybe potentially making their way into Prismere, would be able to decipher it and get some information that they need. And could, while they're there, maybe attempt to do something about my current state? To find a way to return you and Sir Cloppington back to their original forms. I would love to be myself again, and I I would love to be reunited with, with my trusty steed. Just not 
in the way I currently am. That was a cruel twist. It was. I know much better now, and I, I can warn you that things are not always as they seem. Be careful what you agree to. Um, do you remember the name of that fairy? Uh, oh shit. <laughs> do I? I feel like I should remember it. Why do I forget it? Oh, you're thinking of Lexi Potts? Oh, do you remember? Do you know Lexi Potts? No. No? Okay. Are you familiar with um, any other evils in this carnival? Uh, murders, perhaps, of any kind of creature? Well, I'm not familiar with evil per se, but. Things do tend to get lost. Children can go missing. It's best not to come into the carnival without a ticket. We can't... Those of us, the witch light hands, which is what I am, we can only protect you if you've purchased a ticket. Otherwise, we have no control over what happens to you. Do you have a sense of what happens to the people who try to sneak in here, perhaps, uh, or the lost children if they lose their ticket. Unfortunately, no. It's We try not to, to focus on it too much as it plummets the overall ambiance of the carnival. And you mm. see as she looks dour that uh, the carnival ticker does move down one. Oh, oh the happiness? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, we're back, no. to, we're back to square one. So, would you, would you be willing to help, would you be willing to help me? If you're going to Prismere anyway, I, all I can offer is a small bit of information I was able to hide away in my riddle. And you can give us the riddle now? I can, well, you'll have to solve it yourself, of course. <clears throat> we are great at riddles, Frosty and I. Ask each other riddles I, all the time. I say riddle quite loosely. We're both, we were a great team it's, it's at riddles. It's not really like a, a verbal ris- I'll explain the terms, if, if you should agree. But via the rule of reciprocity, I'm offering the riddle and the answers that come along with it, the information, and you are offering to at least inquire and attempt to help separate me from my steed. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll definitely do what we can. And... We right. need to be explicit. Separate, not just uh, <laughs> like you get your legs back yes. and your clopping I would just his like, head back. We're not making a fay pact, but yes, I would just simply like your help. Was Sir Cloppington dead before all this, if you don't mind me asking? No, you, he was not. He had gone missing. He was missing. All right, so this wasn't and some I kind was, of I was hoping, beers. I was hoping to be reunited with him, but just not in this way. Hmm. Mm. No good steed goes unpunished, it seems. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> you can see that the underlying sorrow makes it hard for her to laugh, but she found it amusing. Uh, well, sure. All right. Well, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see, I've separated the carousel. It's separated into four pairs of unicorns. Each unicorn would like to find its name. Oh. So, well, here, and she reaches out and she hands you what appears to be a crayon, and it is a metallic gold. Just simply find the, find their the name tags, reunite them with their name, all of them, and if it please them, we'll see what happens next. Wait, so this is a unicorn puzzle? Yes. Oh man, you know, this day just keeps getting better. It is a really nice day. Lucy, <laughs> aren't you so excited? Isn't this the nicest day that Pop was giving you? Oh, it's so nice. If we start having real, fun. Will, will everybody stop screaming? How does that sound? I have no idea. All right, well, wait, so we need to find names for four unicorns. <laughs> Do you mean the unicorns at the carousel? There are eight unicorns in total. There are four pairs of unicorns. All right. And they have lost their names. And we need to name all eight of them. You must... You don't name them. You must find their names. Oh. 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 Find the names. All find right. Find the names of all eight? 
Yes, oh. I will keep the ride under construction until you're through. That way no <clears> one <throat> can bother you while you are trying to solve the when, puzzle. When we solve you. it, can we ride afterwards? Yes. Oh, oh right. I will have I was to, gonna be very I will sad. have to charge you a punch. Though. That's fun. No, we're happy oh, to. I, I, I might use all Coochie the was re- really had her, her heart set on She loves unicorns. Mm. I don't know if I told right. you this, but I really love, really, really, really love Oh, who she really loves. She really loves unicorns. I mean, you don't have to scream it, but I think I love <laughs> unicorns more than Uzi does. That's how much I love unicorns. I don't know about that. You should go spend time with them then and solve the, the puzzle before you. Don't you go to Gun and Eyes? What? You go to Gun and Eyes? For, I mean, a little, screaming for a little child. <laughs> for a little child. <laughs> Also, you are a very attractive goblin. Oh. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. It's about time someone finally notices my unholy radiance. <laughs> he doesn't always look like this. I think it's probably the, uh, the deep pools of black in his eyes. I'm sorry. You have vines growing out of your nostrils. Yes, I know. <laughs> I am attempting to ignore what is happening to me. Does it tickle? Very much. You haven't <laughs> sneezed even once. The constitution on you. I use my tongue to tickle the top of my mouth and it distracts me just enough not to sneeze. <laughs> oh. It's requiring a great deal of concentration. I propose that we solve this riddle immediately and perhaps we'll be uh, resolved of these... Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we should get to look and their names have to be around here somewhere. Oh, maybe they have a name tag. Oh, well, she didn't mention name tags. Oh, they're named. Oh. Well, this no, is No, we have to write the name tag with these crowns. Please, what? It's what Mr. Rosloff called these things. It's a crown. A crown? Oh, do you mean a crayon? Wait a minute. Are you guys gaslighting me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just regular lighting you. Oh, it's kind of nice. Oh, you're still glowing. So you're glowing in all by I imagine that it's actually between the vines and then it's creating those god rays. Oh, oh yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, That's beautiful. Yeah, I like that. Am I? Do I have like a radiating like beauty to me with like black oh, eyes? Oh, you, yeah. You think you're you think you're the hot you're you're hot shit. Oh, in place of a dark lord, you would have a queen. <laughs> <laughs> Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as the dawn. Uh, see, Krimi, now he's screaming. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, he's always <laughs> screaming. Treacherous yeah. as the seas, uh, <laughs> stronger than the foundations of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> a dwarf runs up to you. And ask for her hair. Oh, what? my hair? No, I can't do the accent. What do you mean? Well, because Gimli wanted a piece of ah, her hair. Is it like a little kid dwarf? Yeah. I never knew. <laughs> hey, how'd you get in here? We're right, close for maintenance. <laughs> I just really would like a piece of your hair, please. Or a locket. Oh, you know, little strange dwarf child, it's a little creepy, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> here you go, child. That's it. <laughs> Don't use any creepy divination magic on me. Get out of here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You need locket. Thanks, thanks for indulging me since I can't do that You're accent. Welcome. Get that doesn't here. actually right. happen. Yeah. What's your name? Name tags. What's your name? What's whose name? The dwarf. No, that doesn't really happen. Oh, oh. That that's not canon. No, it's canon. But I loved oh. Child Gilmy. Okay, so Child Gilmy's there. <laughs> Child Gilmy. His name is Gilmy. That tickled Rich. <laughs> that, uh, Gilmy. His name was Gilmy. <laughs> Wait. Oh, well, what's your name, little boy? What's your name, little dwarf? <laughs> Ooh, it's just child give me. <laughs> it's what me parents well, call me. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm okay I if you want. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, are you sure they don't just look at you and say, oh, give me. <laughs> oh, hey. oh, that G is so important. Child you give me. Kill me. <laughs> she is in goblin. Ow. You were, you were about to kill a child. I mean, uh, send a child to a farm. <laughs> I was about to use mold earth to bury him uh, alive. That makes you what? surprisingly uh, more dangerous than I realized <laughs> as you say that. <laughs> never, never trust a uh, uh, magic user that has mold earth. 
<laughs> One body. <laughs> we have a riddle to solve. Goodbye, kill me. I mean, kill me. All right, this is kind of your thing. I mean, I'll just I'll pet the pretty. You yeah, no, we're really, we're really great at riddles. <laughs> we're a great team at riddles. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to hear it, but. For you to solve it, you, you actually have to go to the carousel no, and I'm solve here. it. No, I'm here. I'm paying the unicorn. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, oh, wow. Yeah. It's so beautiful. We can get right over there. Okay. Goodbye, Gilmy. Enjoy my hair, you How did you get in here? Come on. Let me escort you out. And she she walks away as she escorts <laughs> Gilmy out of the carousel. Remember, yeah. stronger than the foundations of the earth. What kind, what kind of name is Croppington? <laughs> it was the name of my trustee, Steve. Hey, Gilmy, get out. <laughs> it's Tom I keep telling you to Oswald. stop coming in here. Ah, uh, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> I miss video games. <laughs> and with that, you are left alone at the carousel. It is it is no longer in motion. Uh, what you did notice is that um, the the carousel, when it is not in motion, they're just these old wooden unicorns. Uh, there are four pairings in total, eight unicorns. So two, 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 and two that makes sense. Um, and that when the carousel came alive, the unicorns did too. They would shake out their manes. They would um, uh, they would shimmer with vibrant colors. But in this state, they are much more subdued. They look more like painted wooden unicorns. Uh, I need you to roll an, in, uh, an investigation check, please. All of us? Um, we'll have Crummy do it, because he loves unicorns so much. Yeah. Oh, but I, what, what I, a I want to investigate. Well, I'm not even really investigating. I'm just petting the unicorn. I'm oh, not okay. Really well, who would like to investigate? I would obviously I would. engage with the <laughs> Okay. Obviously. And I'm saying, ah, yes, uh, Frosty, we're a great team at Riddles. So please do it at disadvantage. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you distracted by my so, you're, Yeah, you're gorgeous. Stupid, <laughs> sexy Grigo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm wearing nothing at all. <laughs> I know. Oh. Um, I know. <laughs> Just a regular investigation? No, oh no, no, disadvantage for sure. Disadvantage, okay. You will be brilliant. Hey, it's not so bad. Well, that's actually really <laughs> decent money. I'll take a dirty 20. <laughs> uh, the, the Fae will it. So um, you look you look around at them and you notice that on the harnesses, there is a, um, a carved nameplate. Um, and you see that the first one, uh, as you look between the two, uh, the two horses, um, that um, one of the horses actually has their full name, Fortune. The other one has the um, the letter B, and then what looks to be three empty spaces. I was go. I was, I was thinking it. Oh, Frosty! I was thinking it before you even told me it was a B. Mhm. Mm <laughs> mhm. Mm I was thinking that even before. Man, we're so good at riddles. Yes. Well, you got solved it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. This yeah one. Well, we 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 were just working on these first two horses. Uh, uh, the game is a hoof, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think we should each uh, each of us. Uh, there are four. There are four pairs. We should each examine two horses at a time and try to get a sense and then we'll rotate if we're stuck on a problem. I'm going to spend some time with uh, Fortune B here. Well, I'll take a look at these two, see what oh, I Oh, bold! The dying was tricky, though. You'll get it, though. <laughs> bold? Fortune favors the bold, Frosty. We'll try it. Uh, should we try to inscribe it here on the on the name tag? A crown fit for a monarch. <laughs> you write the letters O L D and nothing seems to happen, but so far you've only named one horse. Or one unicorn. Alright, Gib. Should we look at this other pair? Well yeah, let's see what we can figure Fucking out. Fucking keep it down, alright? Yeah. Well, what stop. Stop screaming. I'm not screaming. Oh my god. Well I'm screaming stop. a little now. Alright. You're well, frustrating me. Just try to use like one word sentences. Okay. All you right. know, the one thing I'll never forget is the sound of their scream. Ah. <laughs> Douglas, who are you even talking about? Who screams? 
This is why no one came to your shows. They all screamed. <laughs> all right. For ice cream. This, this, pre, this pretty pink unicorn. Ice what? cream. <laughs> oh, my God. What is the you name? You scream. <laughs> we all scream. Whoa. In the terrible house fire at the family reunion. <laughs> I mean, just hold on, hold on. Chuckles is telling one of his dark backstories again. You know, he's all, he always seems to be doing that. Oh, I mean, how many origins can one clown have? Um, and, you know, you never, until you punch a guy, you really never know what he's going through. Yeah, you know, if I had known that he'd haunt me all my days just because I punched him in the body and killed him. <laughs> I, you know? I probably still would have done it. Yeah. <laughs> like doing the body and frankly, <laughs> not that grave of transgression. If we're going to be honest, I mean, I mean, I mean, I didn't mean to do it. It was intentional, right? Yeah. I mean, I mean, know. you did mean to feed him to the pigs, the farm. Well, I, mean, I told you to do that. Yeah, right? and he had that fit. What were we going to do? Just leave him in the grass? <laughs> Ticket sales will plummet. I, we'd have to start charging double for us. <laughs> I mean, corpses ain't good for business, right, dude? <laughs> yeah. We have this conversation like dozens of times. <laughs> just trying to rest. <laughs> oh, oh, God. That's you guys right. feel extreme guilt. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we process it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, I'll fucking love you. Uh, <laughs> Name tags. Uh, you look at the name tags and you see that one of these horses is named Fall. The other one is what you see is P R blank blank blank. All right, Fall is, is one of them. So yeah, that's one. P R blank blank blank. Mm-hmm. Okay, where's the do- de- dynamic duo heading next, Frosty? Come on, let's take the next pair. The riddle, the raucous riddle rabble rousters. <clears throat> they, they keep talking about juggles for some reason. Let's just move on to this third Yeah, why, why is Gideon haunted by the the murder of, of Chuckles? Well, did you see how hard he hit his body? <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, I didn't hit him that hard. He was a little weak frame. Oh, you hit him right here. That's the kidney. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not a surgeon. I'm not a surgeon. I mean, I, I actually, uh, I didn't see it. I heard it first. <laughs> we go up to the next pair. <laughs> you go up to the next pair of horses. Yeah. You look in the same spot, you find the name tags, and what you see here is that one of the horses is named Stone. The other one is M space space S. Hmm. That's fascinating. Hmm. Um, uh, um, do you guys have a, a, a name combo yet? Have you any ideas of the relationship? We got a couple of ideas. I'm just mm-hmm. not ready to share them. Yeah, I mean, no. we, we, look, we all keep working on that one. We work on we're, this we're, one. The, we're the rebel, ra- we're the dynamic duo. We already got moss over here. <laughs> I don't think it's moss. Oh. Do you think it's moss? Well, mo- moss doesn't gather on a rolling stone, Frosty. That's not bad. Yeah, well, we already oh. have uh, uh, we have a P fall uh, price, like oh, price oh. dropping. Oh, falling the, prices. Yeah, oh, well, that's the worst. Yeah, Any well. competition drives Boy, prices down. Oh, oh, of course, it's pride. Pride coming before the fall. My, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. Fall pride. Yeah, we're, most likely. This is like baby games. <laughs> How do you know all these uh, these fancy sayings? I mean, there was a lot of time on the ship. Scurvy Dave and I exchanged <laughs> a lot of sayings and stories. Oh, pride before the fall, huh? What do you think? I mean, I don't know. I, that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it flows, you know? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. I mean, this is st- storytelling. But didn't you didn't you grow up in in in, in villages where, where you just tell stories to each other? That's all we had to do to pass the time. Well, no, that's not what. Have we you ever been to Goblin Towns? No. <coughs> <laughs> when would I have ever been to a to a Goblin Town? 
Uh, the food is terrible, the women are beautiful, and all there is to do is to tell stories. Well, if the women look like you, yeah, but they are beautiful. I mean, you've always been so symmetrical, by the way. <laughs> what? This is the best rig of mine I've ever heard. If you always been so and symmetrical. It's a hard cut to handsome Squidward. <laughs> oh, thank you for noticing. Oh, uh, yeah. With pitch black eyes. <laughs> I feel like I cut my hands slapping those cheeks. <laughs> 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 Gideon is a disaster. Oh, oh you charmer. <laughs> well, thank you. So, are you writing any names down? Are you doing anything? Um, what do you think, Gideon? Any ideas? I'll let you uh, have a crack. I'll take, well, I'll take the last one. Okay. Uh, you look at this one and you see that one of the horses is named Stitch, and the other horse is Blank Blank N Blank. Blank, blank, N, blank? Mm -hmm. Four letters? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the easiest one yet. You know, Gid, yeah. I'm seeing fall, space, PR, blank, 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 right? Yeah. I'm and you seeing know, it too. What, what I'm thinking when I see the word fall is falling down. And I was reminded when you punched Chuckles <laughs> <laughs> so hard that he laughed until he died. <laughs> he felt prone, didn't he? Oh, yeah, well. What's I mean, the definition of prone? Prone means like, you know, horizontal. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was prone. <laughs> yeah, you broke every rib I had. <laughs> God, you were strong then. <laughs> <laughs> they never tell you how they shit themselves. <laughs> Before or after Chuckles? They don't put those in the song. Gosh, I wish there was wine in hell. <laughs> poor, poor Gideon, honestly. That would have been a nightmare that would be. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay, God, Frosty. Oh, no, the, the last one's nine. <laughs> Easy. How is the last one nine? A stitch in time saves nine, Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> Scurvy Dave is the most well-read <laughs> pirate <laughs> ship captain ship whoever I've ever met. <laughs> Maybe he was smuggling books. <laughs> oh my God! Grigo, Sweating think, through my shirt. I think I think Rigo may have found all of these. <laughs> Well, he didn't get prone. That's yeah. what I got. I write in R O N E. Er, O N E. Okay. <clears throat> so we've written in bold. Okay. Prone. Mm hmm. Moss. And nine. You no, do this no, no, no. and nothing happens. Hmm. Is something supposed to happen? You misspelled pride. Uh, Grigo's got it. Fall pride? Fall pride. I don't know. I mean, I think you fall prone. You it, see what happened to No, Jones? no, he has a saying. You have to have a knowledge about the saying. See, uh, fortune uh, favors the bold. Favors the so bold. So we're going fortune bold. I thought perhaps it was boon, and that it was actually a synonymous thing. Uh, that would Ball make a boon. Yeah. What, what, what? No, 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 no. Fortune boon. Fall prone. <clears throat> sort of similar meaning. He's but... saying like the second word is like a. You know, similar word to the first. All right, look. I mean, do these things have a racist? Look how proud this little unicorn is. <laughs> yes, you would easily be able to remove yeah, it. Yeah, you did it in the sharpie. Oh. <laughs> I used my, th my thumbnail just to like scream <laughs> off the crayon. Oh, oh, oh it's dry oh, erase. And I'll put in IDE. <clears throat> uh, as you finish writing the E, all of the unicorns turn into actual unicorns. <laughs> And you see eight unicorns standing there in front of you. They they paw down at the <laughs> gonna fucking pull right through their bodies. That's a horrible. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Oh, god. <laughs> Kremmy, now we're screaming. We're screaming, Kremmy. Oh. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> 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 
my God, this place is certainly worse than our carnival. <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> My magical blue! <laughs> this mercurial silver uh, is uh, spilling out. Uh, Anywho, yeah. they uh, you watch as they as they take uh, an active form. You can still see that they are made of wood. These are not true to life unicorns, but they're as close to them as they can possibly be. As they turn towards you and they whinny and they make noises. And Gricko you hear a voice in your head. <clears throat> well, looks like you solved the puzzle. Oh, now it was me and Frosty were a team. <laughs> oh, modest. So humble. Oh, thank you. And attractive. Um, I'm trying to set a good role model for me daughter here, who's just been dying to meet you, whichever unicorn you are. I mean, all of the unicorns. This is Hoochie the Coochie. Hoochie T. Coochie Grim Grim. Oh my gods, they're real. <clears throat> Zabilna is frozen in time. Three hags have seized control of Zabilna's domain and sp have split it amongst themselves. Together, these hags form the Hourglass Coven. The hags' names are Bavlorna Blightstra, Scabatha Nightshade, and Endelin Moongrove. The unicorn, slow down. <laughs> and, their, and their splinter realms are called Hither, Thither, and Yawn. The coven is so riddled with distrust that each hag is convinced her sisters are plotting against her. Good luck. The unicorn says this? Mm -hmm. And then... <gasps> to me or to everybody? To just, you just in your mind. Oh, just before it dies on It is telepathically. <laughs> and then you watch as blood spills out of its mouth. <laughs> it's clearly it moved. And the pole that was going through its body um, was removed from the area it was clotting as the blood spills forth and it just collapses to the ground. This is what it feels like to be punched in the body. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. This is not, this is not Edge of Midnight. Oh. This is witch-like. They die where they stand. They don't fall to the ground. Um, but no, as you finish getting this information, the unicorns, you watch as all of the unicorns toss their manes this way and that, and with one final whinny, they turn back into wood. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, we solved it. Yeah, it was easy to solve the riddle. It was all just saying, and then... <laughs> Gregor, I have to admit, the... The fact that you were able to solve this puzzle so quickly and easily is the most useful and intelligent thing I've seen you do, do in the entire time that I've known you. It's it's, it's truly remarkable. Oh. My, my hat is off to you if I had a hat. Oh, you know, Frosty. All the while you're hearing the stuff from the unicorn, Frosty's just talking at you. Yeah, yeah, you don't hear any of my puzzles. May I just also say how attractive you are? Very symmetrical. I think the most useful thing he's done is just stand there and smile. Hourglass Coven? What? Free Splinter Realms? Splinter Realms? And if if you're here and I'm here, then who's... Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> There's a chuckle. Oh, and, and as they as they go back to how, how they were, you feel your fey curses fade from you. Uh, all of them? Except for Kremi's pact that he made. He still loves unicorns. So did I see them come alive? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> what happened? Do they speak to you? You know I never forgave you, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, Chuggles? I never asked for it, okay? Because you were at the farm. <laughs> Isn't, isn't that fading? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I oh. never forgave you, Gideon. <laughs> So with that, you are now standing at the carnival. You f or you are standing at the carousel. You watch as the unicorns go back to their stationary motion. Gricko, you've just had this experience where you've had this information just offloaded onto you very quickly. As all of you feel that strange fey magic that had been affecting you fade away, Gricko, you become wrinkled and disgusting again. Uh, <laughs> your eyes. Uh, I feel like a popsicle. Oh, I can hear your face. Gricko, you always been so. Age symmetrical? <laughs> He's like two faced. <laughs> you know, me mom always said I had a nice personality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll know where Zabilna is and what happened to her. 
What? Wow. What? Wait, wait, what? Go on, The Alan. unicorn spoke to me. As reward. It spoke in your mind. It spoke into my mind because I solved a we solved a riddle together, Frosty. I should have known that they were psionic in nature. Cyclops. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. What? Well, no, a, a cyclops is 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 a, is a giant kin with one one eye and a, and a horn occasionally. Oh, but it's they also, both have horns, actually. It's also it's a play on words. If psi is in psionic, and then clops. Well, unicorn is, in is a the... celestial creature, generally native to the upper plains, but is found in the Feywild and the Material Plane and all over. It was my attempt at a joke. Please tell us what information. <laughs> oh, you... it's about the hooves. You overlooked the hooves. Psionic. Clappy feet. She's frozen in time, and it's all on account of three hags. It's always hags. Green. There's three of them, and it's a coven, and they split up Prismia into Hivid, Vivid, and Yon. Did you did you mispronounce that? Is it thither or is it just the It's hither, thither, and Yon. Is it Yon or Yon? Yon with an O. Y O N. Y O N. Oh, Y O N. It's so not yawn. Well, come but hither, yon. go thither, and then we shall go yawn. Oh, to yawn market place. <laughs> and it gets me every time. This little piggy went to yawn market. So all we have to do is again. kill these three hags? All we have to do. Well, yeah, we have to kill it. Well, we have to figure out how to deal with the hags. I don't know if we've got to kill them. Well, it is hags that have trapped her. <laughs> So she's like stuck. She's frozen in time. Those are these three hags. And they're called the Hourglass <laughs> Coven, probably on account of the fact that she's frozen in time. I mean, yeah, that stands to reason. Didn't, didn't Madrig ask us just to find out how Zabilna was doing? No, we needed to find her so he can say, oh, Zabilna is safe so I can die peacefully with yeah. a slice of pumpkin well, pie. Well, do, do you think you'd be satisfied if we went back right now and we're like, well, she's frozen in time. Please uh, hand over No, she's gold distressed. Pieces. There's three hags that carved up a realm into Hither, River, and Yarn. Yeah, I mean, that's like the exact opposite of what he wants. That's yeah. the last thing he wants, Frosty. He, he has gratitude towards his patron who's horribly trapped in time but, and but a realm's was a, gone. Was our agreement terms? We were going to save her. We were, okay. Then we'll, we were going to we'll reunite go them. We were we'll going go to her. allow for a reuni- reunition. Reunition. Yeah, and deliver his letter to her. Didn't he write a hand? Yeah, well, letter? she's going to read a letter. She can't read yeah, it while she's sucking time. We can just be like, <laughs> you know, Frost. I'll check the terms, all right? <laughs> and I'll snap, and a you'll see the sort of shadow erupt, and the contract that I that he signed with his own blood will like appear floating in the air, and I'll grab it, and I'll. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's let's see. Uh, DM. Do you remember the exact nature of the of the The deal? exact nature was that he wanted to be reunited with his patron. He wants to be able to tell her thank you and say his goodbyes before he dies because he wants to die. Yep, reunited. He wants to. We need to create to the reu. We need to bring reunion. So we are going to. Oh, that's, I like that. Thank you. Uh, I, I, are we going to? We're gonna have to rescue the building by unfreezing time by Yeah, we have to hang. go to the hollow bastion the, the, and she's frozen in time. It's gonna be crazy and the music's gonna be really cool. And the unicorns didn't tell you anything else about these hags? We have no way No, else. all the their names are uh their names Moongrave. Are Be- Bevlorna Blightstraw. Bevlorna Blightstraw. Bavlorna. Bavlorna. Blight? Blightstraw. Blightstraw. Strop? Straw. Straw. Like like a Stop scarecrow. letting Gricko tell you. I, I only, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting this ear on her, and your ear, I, I can't hear her. <laughs> Bright, er, blight straw. Bavlorna blight straw. Yes. Scabatha <clears throat> nightshade. Scabatha. Scabatha nightshade. Oh man, she's gonna look disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give it a gift. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's named Scabatha. She's gonna be like. <laughs> oh! oh why did you do that? Come oh. here, yeah, my little gosling. <laughs> Come have a snack from Scabatha. I'm most worried about Scabatha. <laughs> and then Miss Moongrave. And then it's Endolin Moongrave, and it's E-E-E-N-D-E-L-Y-N. She's... End... E L Y N. 
Endolin Movegrave. Moongrave. <laughs> Move, Why would it move, be move gray? <laughs> I love move gray. Is she a da- is she a dancing? She actually sounds kind of hot though. We didn't. We just talked to someone named Cloppington. I, we have to take these names very literally. <laughs> oh, she's the end of them. Probably the third one that will face. Oh, maybe she's oh, got. Oh, well, that makes sense. A green on the moon. Oh. And um, you also. Gricka would have told you that the coven is riddled with distrust. Oh yeah, they hate each other. is convinced that her sisters are plotting against her. They hate oh. each other. Oh, that's, that's, that's very so strategic. We can, yeah, we can beat them against each other, yes. Well, wait a second. Before that unicorn died a horrific death, did it tell you how to get into the shadow realms of Prismere's shattered haggy biz? Uh, yeah, what he said. <laughs> no. Oh, well, good. Well, no, but didn't, I mean... No, uh, clopping to Diana said she's going to help us get there, eh? No, uh, hey? what's his name? Madrick. Madrick told us that the witch-like carnival is how we get to Prismere. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Once it's over, we'll just be in Prismere. You'll see we'll see she's on the unicorn rocking back and forth <laughs> with the paws around the thing. Uh-huh. Thank you for the follow, Freedom 13. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank welcome. You for follow. Welcome to the family. Welcome. Freedom 13. Freedom isn't free. <laughs> it, it just costs their team. I love that song so much. Uh, Bucko Five. If you don't put your bin, your Bucko Five, who will? Freedom isn't free. Freedom isn't free. Um, sorry. <laughs> We're just going off on tangents. Um, well, thank you, uh, the Unicorn. I, I guess they're no longer able to hear us. Perhaps That's they can. too bad. They were really pretty. I mean, they're still very pretty. Yeah, and I very nice them. crush. I mean, the hoochies. Look, look how much fun hoochies having. They're just so beautiful and cute. Yeah, we didn't even get to ride them. Well, we did get enough information to, I think, honor the rule of reciprocity. We have to do something for Diana to assist her in... That's amazing. ...seeing we, her destiny. We have to sever the... I mean, I mean, s- separate healthily Sir Cloppington and Diana. Yeah. Uh, what, what what did she say about uh, who? It, it must have been one of these hags who who did this to her. And she did say she. So. Mushrooms. Who has mushrooms? What do we think? Straw? Is that mushroomy? No. What was it? Nightshade, moon grove, moon grave. Moon grave. I mean, graves and mushrooms. It's kind of blight yeah. straw. Uh, it could no, it's scabafer. Uh, blight. It's definitely scabafer. I, I, I can see moon grave. I can see oh, mushrooms on a grave. Yeah. It could be both. I mean, oh wait, we have to. We could. We could ask her. First. She may know. We could ask. I don't oh, think she could Diana. Tell us. Well, yeah, I don't want to say. Oh, it's a hourglass coming. Oh no, I can't hear that. My head's gonna explode. No, she probably would explode. Or like her hooves get cut off and they bleed until she dies and oh. we can't stop oh. it. Who would make a pact where that's an outcome? That's terrifying. Just say a name. I mean, at least we'd be able, I mean, at the very least, we'd be able to make glue afterwards. That's just that's just <laughs> grim. <laughs> that's very grim, Frosty. <laughs> what would we even need glue for? <laughs> look I mean, at how happy Look at how full is. my fucking backpack is. <laughs> I go ahead and move the one hour. Oh again shit! Once more. We gotta do really? it. Uh, Diana, we'd like to ride the thing Hoochie. It, I mean, she's having a, a, a very nice time while she's not moving, but we'd like it to move. Mm. Yes, well, we're I'm, running I'm out more, of time. I'm more than happy oh? to, to. Yes, I, I've been here. No, oh, hello. For, for a while. I'm sorry about the glue comment. That's fine. <laughs> oh, would be a little was... upset. <laughs> I'm sorry? Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm filled with sorrow already, as it were, mm-hmm. so. Like water off a duck's back. Remember to smile for the children. <laughs> Gilmy will be back any moment. Why don't you present your ticket and I will punch Please. it for you. Oh, and then you, you can punch it yourself. Oh. But she goes through and she punches each one of your tickets once. I'm going to attempt to and, pierce the ticket. And oh. you are able to you are able to mount the um, the unicorns, and as she starts the ride, they all come to life, and you spend a good couple of minutes just going around in circles on these Whee! unicorns. Whee! 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 Oh, isn't this such a fun day out with Dad? I'm so glad I'm not being consumed by vines and leaves anymore. Yeah, you're just such a, you're such a fun day with Dad. You were gonna go home and you're gonna tell Mom that you were the best day and that Walter. Sucks and he's like, 
<laughs> oh, yeah, the family's going up and down. Oh, yeah. I said, girl, I, I hope you didn't skip blank day, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> This is actually sponsored by Bad Dragon. <laughs> 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 Good lord. Good lord. <laughs> All right, Have you seen the price of glue? I was not able to pierce the, the witch light ticket. Yeah, it is very stern. I'll pierce it. Extremely st oh, you did? I pierced it, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I pierced I'm it. Impressed. Yeah, it works really hard on these. Punched. This is the greatest day of my life. They're so beautiful. This is actually quite a fine day already. However, there's a lot of rides left, and we have limited time. It seems it's getting darker. Well, uh, thank you. This was very nice. Oh, isn't it so nice, Hootsie? <sighs> I accidentally broke the horn off of my unicorn. You're gonna have to glue it back on. <laughs> All right. Oh fuck! That's connected to my spine. Ah! <laughs> They're not really unicorns. <laughs> fuck! Ow! Ow! <laughs> he said calmly. <laughs> he said calmly. I, I thought that was what you were supposed to hold on to, and it. Well, they are lord. Well, thank you for the information. Yes. Uh, we promise to um, do right by the rule of reciprocity, the third rule, perhaps the most important one. Equal or lesser <laughs> value. <laughs> the equal value. <laughs> or approximate, or comparable, whatever. Uh, it yeah, or a store name. credit or something, I think. Was yeah, the, store credit. Was how it was named, I really, yeah. I greatly appreciate it. Anything that you can do to help. But just please be careful. I, you seem capable. You, you seem different than most. But it will not be easy. And I don't have all the answers you seek, but there are others working the carnival that, that can help you. Just... It will be difficult. Just... I don't know. Prepare yourselves before you try to make your way into Prismia. We will endeavor to do so. Is there anyone <clears throat> that we should be helping also, or that we should not be helping specifically? It's Scamifer, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> she explodes in the mushroom. <laughs> All right. It's Scamifer, isn't it? For for what? I, I, I'm sorry. What? What cursed you? <laughs> She what cursed you, <laughs> she Scabitha. She, Scabitha. she begins to start to <laughs> nod her head, and as she does, a disgusting dark brown sap begins to spill out of her mouth. Oh, and I'm she, so sorry. she looks horrified oh. as the mushrooms begin to grow on her hands again, but this time they pop like these like pustules as she winces in pain. Oh, and I'm she sorry, tries I'm sorry. to keep herself completely oh. still oh. as eventually the sap recedes and the <sighs> uh, the mushrooms fade oh. away. I'm so oh. sorry, but also I told you, Frosty. <laughs> okay. I, I wasn't asking about that. I was asking here at the Carnival, is there anyone that we should distrust? Not not, not this larger question. Uh, you misunderstood me. The point is, we got your information. We'll do what we can. Thank you. I appreciate it. And well, wait a there, second. There are people at the Carnival, other witch light hands that I'm sure could use your help. Uh, they, they would be much more likely to give you additional information. It, depending on where they are and what rides they, they tend to, they would know things that I possibly could not. The more you help, the more likely you are to find allies here. So, like, do we have to get, uh, you know, what Dun he did mention? Do we have to get her to, like, agree to reverse this or just, like, a punch to the ribs kind of situation? I'm unsure. Well, well, uh-oh. I think we have what we need. We know it involves yeah. killing stuff, and between the four of us, I think we can make pretty good on that. Uh, hopefully some ribs. Yeah. Can't solve puzzles. I thought it was prone. <laughs> um, I, I walk up to one of the drink carts very quickly, and I will uh, grab one of the giggle juices. <clears throat> Let's find ourselves uh, uh, at one of these games, and perhaps we can find additional allies. 
Well, I mean, Gid did say he was hungry, and all this unicorn bullshit kind of worked up an appetite, and we're right by the feasting orchard, so... Oh! Oh! Maybe we can grab a bite? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounds lovely. <laughs> You hit there. Well, it was really nice oh, to yeah. meet no. you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were glue. <laughs> I, I've been here this whole time. <laughs> no, you're right. I apologize. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. You came with us to the drink cart? I was trying to transition you mean us. The drink cart within the carousel area. Oh, this is well equipped. <laughs> yes, there, there are bathrooms over yonder. <gasps> oh, yeah, don't say that. It was very nice to meet you. Oh. Please enjoy the rest of the carnival. I know that we already agreed, but if you could just put in a good word about the drink cart adding um, a certainly chapel, <laughs> I really think kids would like it. Yeah, I also think... Uh... We served that at our carnival, and and we, we lost all our money, and we had to lay everyone off, and <laughs> we had to run away from some carnies who were very upset with Grammy. Oh, it's just a bad idea. Forget I said anything. <laughs> there's a there's a suggestion box on your way out. <sighs> I doubt any, but it reads that. Million platinum idea. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 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 We will avenge you. Thank you. <laughs> and you make your way to the feasting orchard. <laughs> You know, I, My I don't want to go to the suggestion box because it's probably going to cast a suggestion on us. <laughs> but actually, was going to That was fucking genius. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to say I knew it was scabber for the whole time. That just seemed like a scabber for thing to do. <laughs> do you notice that she said yonder and didn't explode into mushrooms? Oh, oh it sounded like she was about to. She like Well, I'll know that... Uh, Oh wait, was Yon was that Scabafa's realm? No. Do, do you have an indication, any indication from the unicorn, which one corresponded? Yes. Um, uh, Blightstraw uh -huh. was Hiver. Okay. Uh, not Shade, Scabafa. Mm-hmm. Phips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. How, would, how would you know this? <laughs> She didn't tell you what. Oh, she didn't? No. Oh, okay. Okay. The unicorn didn't say what. Oh, well, I just, well, I was presuming the rule of three. She took, they told me three witches in order and hither, river and dawn in order as well. And that's oh, exactly so. what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm making a presumption. Okay. No presumptions. But I believe that Yon <clears throat> is where um, Endelin um, Moongrave is. Does Frost... Did Frost perceive her saying yonder and being capable of saying yonder without she issue? She was capable of saying yonder. And she was just afraid. It just like spooked just, her. She was yeah. afraid to say anything that was related to the hags. Period. It was more but that. unlike, unlike when she was trying to acknowledge something relating to um, Scabatha, in which she physically could not. Can I make some sort of deduction or insight whether or not that was a clue? from her speech that Jan was something safe for her to say even if she was afraid to say it versus yes. when she is yes. incapable of saying something. I would with say that it was easily able to see that even though she was afraid to say it, she was capable of saying it. She didn't get those horrible shroom scabs. I think that she's, whichever her hag cursed her was from hither or thither based on this information. What? She was able to say yonder without turning into uh, sappy mushrooms. That's why I think that it was scabifer. Well, yonder's also a different word. Maybe if she had said the like, I said, I said it's Scabafa, and she nodded. We got the answer. That's fine. Well, she started to nod, and she then started she started to, to speak that. I mean, but yeah. we're a team, Frosty. We figured it out. Frosty and Gricko, the, the, the problem solvers extraordinaire, the rabble rousers of riddles. All right, I'm putting a little question mark in the through their column for Diana Cloppington. That's great. You have columns. Oh, I've See, got this, is, this is why we're a team. I've got a whole matrix. I've got this permutations. Is a, this is why we're a team. <laughs> uh, Frosty's got the permu uh, permutations. Sure. Um, Crummy, he's the leader. Mm -hmm. 
uh, 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 Gideon punches people in the ribs. Right in the body. Really? Right hard. in the body. <laughs> really? Generally in the body. Yeah. Right generally in the body. Very hard. <laughs> yeah, really quite hard. I've yeah. seen torsos, and then I haven't seen them because you punched them. Yeah, well, sometimes I hit them with my knee. Who sees the heart and the soul <laughs> of, of the group? Gideon Pons. That <laughs> <laughs> one time, uh, I accidentally got mind controlled by a, a monster and Mm-hmm. Uh, hit Grico so hard in the face with my knee. <laughs> oh man, I didn't think he was recovering from that one. I was there during that time. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm just reminiscing with you. No, I, I heard a a, a, a shine, a, a shine go ding, and I got <laughs> I got KO'd. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I flew off the screen. <laughs> All exploded. Did you then float down on a disc and then you were able to rejoin? Yeah, that's what happened. You know, I was like, man, you can buy my popsicle. <laughs> and I was flashing right, and I'm like, oh, I feel invincible. Oh, that was brief. <laughs> and with that, you've made your way to the feasting orchard. Oh, do it on the map. Oh, oh and I have a nice personality. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> To the feasting orchard. Oh, Hootsie, are you ready? Right? I hope they have a children's menu. Oh. I hope kids eat free. Yes, oh, no, we all eat free. Let's feast. Music and mirth radiate from this park. The heady scent of flowers, mead, and blueberry pie waft through the air. Mm. Stilt walkers oh, pluck fruit from trees. Musicians drum, pipe, and strum. And everywhere, there is singing, dancing, and an, in- and an inordinate amount of custard. And that is where we'll end the session. Oh! oh! Custard? You had me a custard! There's about to be a shortage of custard at this carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, children. That giant man ate all the custard. <laughs> that giant man with the tiny wings ate all of your custard. <laughs> what are you going to do wings. about it? I'll put you in the body. <laughs> Well, if they wanted to have some custard, they probably should have had a bigger mouth <laughs> to fit the custard in there. If you can't fit shovels full of custard in your mouth, you don't, deserve, you don't deserve that. Custard. You don't deserve fucking said custard. It's simple. On this day or the fucking next. <laughs> so is the or- orchard going to turn evil and feast on us? Is the feasting orchard? <clears throat> like the tree's going to fucking Wizard of Oz this shit? <laughs> It's supposed to be a fun carnival. I know, but I we, want custard. We Diana Cloppington was less fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, more intrigue. It was I'm more making intrigue. a list of our packs so we don't forget. Oh, Coco. nice. No, they all faded. Not the no, packs. Like oh, the packs. So Hootsie's got the pumpkin, and he's oh, he loves unicorns. Oh, no, so I, I mean, still have my gold coin. I mean that we made a deal with her. Oh, that we we're in there. Uh, yes. We gotta help her. Uh, oh, we, we cannot forget. Yeah. Uh, we also, oh, oh, you, you fuck, we totally forgot. <laughs> 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 Uh, campaign ends. We've been horribly cursed by. A no, we literally elongate to the uh, horse abominations from Edge of Midnight. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is it with you and fucking with horses? <laughs> no. Stop fucking with the horses. It's in the book. Horse Body fine. horses. It's in the book. Uh, we don't go anywhere. Guys. We're not done. What's next, Mace? Oh, what's next is Avengers and Chill. Ooh. What's We're, that? We will unpack the section. The session. Oh. The section. The section. Yeah. He's got sexy oh. goblin. Oh. Sexy goblin oh, on the mind. I'm just. I'm still picturing Gricko as uh, just god beauty. I like uh, Kirby, it's taking me Kirby over. Dave is <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, oh, when I heard his. He he was always uh, they didn't keep him on night watch. They kept him on day watch because if he did it at night, his dummy thick cheeks would clap together and wake the crew. Mm-hmm. Is that how he drowned? <laughs> it sounded like a seal clapping in the ocean as he was going down. No, Kirby Dave! <laughs> Oh okay. no! His dummy uh, thickness is a flotation device! <laughs> He's saved! <laughs> 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 so Oh god. No, I'm just trying to shut you up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to a interesting chill. Don't go anywhere. We're going to unpack the session. We're going to talk about favorite moments. We're going to laugh a lot more. Oh, my God. Uh, we're just going to have a good time. <laughs> Hang out with us, and we're not actually doing anything. We're just going to hit a button. One of these days, it's going to be a subs-only feature again. Well, What's next? 
the set. We just said it. We just said it. Not like next, next, but like oh. you can see us back Friday. On oh. Oh. Friday. For those of you who are dropping, we'll be back here Friday to play Icebound, where things will almost certainly not be nearly as silly as this. <laughs> uh, God, I fucking hope. Then next Wednesday, we'll be back with this campaign, Once Upon a Witchlight. We're playing this every Wednesday night, if you're new. Um, if you want to, uh, understand some of the funny references that we made, uh, about previous times, we played a Session Zero that is exclusive to our patrons, uh, with these characters for this campaign, so get caught up on that. Um, and join our Discord. Hang out there between sessions, uh, that's where we hang out, you know, 99% of the week when we're not streaming. So, uh, come hang. But stick around for Vance and Chill. Yeah, Welcome around. to our new folks, A. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Seven, uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Anonymous Cheerer. Yeah, yeah. thank Holy you. Shit. Anonymous Cheerer. Whoever you are, yeah. Yeah. Whoever you are what an absolute god, goddess. Deity. It yeah. makes a big difference, it really does. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. You have no so idea how, how critically helpful that is. Yeah. It allows us to do what we do. Um, um, join our Discord. If, uh, join our Discord if you have not done that. Okay. You're gonna make me cry. Uh, and if you're watching this, I should mention, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, and you want to watch Advantages and Chill, uh, you can find past episodes uh, as either a Twitch subscriber or as a patron. We You have uh, access to every Advantages and Chill episode that we've ever done ever. Wow, so that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. And uh, join Patreon our Discord. is the best way to support us. Yes. So um, join our Discord, and there's a pinned comment in our uh, sub and patron uh, Discord that takes you to the link for this episode. So okay. Let's begin.